Did, uh, well, hello, did everybody, hello, everybody. Here? welcome to the show today. Very happy to have you here. Hopefully, everybody had themselves a good weekend. I know I did. I stayed home and did nothing, which is cool. Nice. I've, I've been able to do that a few times, uh, and that's kind of neat le lately. I'm usually pretty busy. But nevertheless, mm -hmm. hopefully everybody did well. I'm going to go over here and hit that like and share button. Hopefully you guys will do the same. Um, but, uh, it. We're going to be getting into it quite directly today. Uh, so... Uh, I uh, don't want to waste too much time. I had a rabbit. <clears throat> oh, there he is, but he's not talking now. It looks like he's talking. I am. Oh, there you, you told are. me to sh shut up because I you did. had intros. <laughs> I did say shut up. That was true. <laughs> uh, but usually being belliger uh, belligerent British, you, you, you don't listen. So, you know, I was a bit surprised. But hi. How you doing, rabbit? I'm, a, I'm better now. I've been ill since yesterday still. But I'm better, yeah. <laughs> I'm better now. Ish. Better ish. <laughs> So we, okay. we have ourselves a, 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 another member who showed up today. His name is Larry. Hello, Larry. Hi. I'm eating a breakfast sandwich. Oh, what kind <laughs> of breakfast sandwich are you eating? Croissant, egg, bacon, and cheese. It's delicious. Yeah, those, oh, that's nice. the way to go. I had one of those today, but it was on a pita, a toasted pita. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it Larry and <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty good. Very oh, good. Nice. Why? What? I don't get the joke of Peter and boyfriend. Is that a boy's name? Peter, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Is Peter your boyfriend? Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that you. Wow. I think you should leave the jokes to the DM. Yes. I, hey, I, I who asked you that? <laughs> oh my God. I agree. We're starting great wow. tonight. Guys. Everybody, everybody hates Larry. <laughs> no, you're well, cool. you know, uh, it, it reminds oh, me right. of, a, 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 of an uh, anthropology joke. Uh, there's a really famous uh, uh, geologist in the uh, world of uh, anthropology, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he, his name is Paul McCartney. And everyone says, it's not the Beatle one or the replacement. Get it? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, right? that's the level of jokes we anthropologists have, just so you know. All right? <laughs> so, pity... Please. Guys, wait, wait, you're passion. you're an anthropologist? Yes, I am. Yeah. That's cool. Do you have a bull whip and a hat and a... oh wait, no, that's archaeologist. Yeah. Mm. Oh go, go ahead. Be... Oh, well, I've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a story about that sometime, but I'm looking at my bull whip and my fedora right now. Oh god. Of my mm. animation dad. Hey, he knows Peter and Paul too, hey? Yeah, he sounds okay. like a bird. It's okay. I'm I'm <laughs> technically a philologist. Just so you know, that's that's someone who takes your blood, right? I won't. No. I won't tell anybody. Thank you. Uh, but uh, following in the great footsteps of uh, Irving Finkel and uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, these are my heroes. They're great. Mm -hmm. One of those you know, is known. The other one is not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. yeah. I was wondering who is J.R.R. Tolkien. Yeah. Well, well you know. <laughs> There you go. Like I said, you learn the rules. Sarcasm is very lowbrow. You know the interesting thing, though. Uh, <laughs> when I first saw your uh, your logo, uh, I for some reason there was this this invisible ivy cap uh, formed over the arch of the uh, the nose of your dog, and it looked like Beetle Bailey. I swear, the the nose looks like the eye. You, once you see it, you'll never unsee it. Well, I know who Beetle Bailey is. Mm. But I don't see it. I do. I'm trying. No, it's my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I can. Nope. Still looks like my dog. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Is that a Tex Avery dog? Thanks. That's, thanks, thanks for letting me know. Hmm. Oh, it is kind of a blend between Warner Brothers and Tex Avery. Do, you know what I do for a living, right? No. No? Oh, I'm an animation director. Oh, cool. So that is actually one of my characters. And I just, in the chat, posted uh, a link to our IP that we've developed. So, in your leisure time, if anybody would like to check it out, it's paranormalityworld.com. But I've worked on a lot of stuff. I'm 100% I'm sure you've seen it. And I've worked in Hollywood for many, many, many years. 
Oh, sorry. Started when I was five. <laughs> and five. It That's only good. got worse. But, but I finally got out of there, and I moved back to Oklahoma. I'm sick and tired of Hollywood. So. Oh, very well. Good yeah, for you. Um, just so you know, we do have the reincar reincarnated Tex Avery uh, via 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 Adolf Hitler being his uh, his uh, father, of course, uh, on this channel. What? His name is Doug, and he has Blue Moon cartoons. Um, oh, and mm -hmm. he hates he hates anime. Oh, yes, he does with does. a passion. But no, he's it's always good uh, when we do one. It's so such a perfect Tex Avery style, dude. It's so perfect. He's yeah, a he's amazing. a great artist. No, he's sure. amazing. Yeah, yeah. But he he's a lot, lot of hate in him though. A lot of hate. Poor I guy. just I gotta say, got you a know, lot of emotion. You already broke YouTube rules within like six seconds of mentioning mentioning a particular uh, dictator. Screw them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. So, okay. Anyway, wow. Anyway, so one one last thing before before I before I pissed off the DM. Oh, yeah. One last thing. Uh, if you ever want to look and see it, my artwork. If you're interested, you can see my director's reel on YouTube. Just enter Larry Whitaker, one P demo, and it'll pop right up. Okay. Done. Well, you know what awesome. you should do is you should drop your links in the okay. uh, in the chat because we are doing this on YouTube okay. live. Um, and uh, they might check it out. Oh, oh, to be oh. fair, uh, the this show is a little bit more niche, but I am always surprised how many people come and watch it after the fact, though. It is weird. Uh, but uh, but you just drop them in there, and people will grab it easy. You put them in the Discord, mm -hmm. too. We have a Bob. Bob! Bob! Bob. What about Bob? Well, the good um, thing we're gonna is get I have slaughtered actual, just so many of us. I have a platoon. How do, how do I find the YouTube link? To, uh, to where oh, we're being streamed. Oh, just drop it in the Discord. That'll be easier. Yeah, because you can't always drop links in YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Unless you got the admin thing. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just just drop in the Discord. I uh, I can drop them in the, the YouTube if you put them in the Discord. There you go. Thanks, Rabbit. Yeah. And then somebody introduced him to the rolling. Uh, All right. Oh um, yes. In the Discord, someone's going to give you a dice link. Uh, we're using a digital uh, dice. So. I will. Uh, I'll oh, send it's in the bubble chat. The stupid bubble chat. In the bubble chat. God. Oh, that's how you do that. It's pretty life. easy. You just click on it. It's, it's right there. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, all right, it's in the little uh, bubble chat. Okay, cool. Of course, a girl Sweet. found it. <laughs> it's called bubble. It's called bubble. It's, bubble. <laughs> it's great. There. All right. Now I know where it is. I found it. You. You. Uh, are you happy? You perverted me, Amy. <laughs> All right. To the light. To the light. So I, I'm Over. guessing that I should just I should just go ahead and close my 1978 player's handbook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you go right. Yeah. You, okay. you, that, so, actually, so that would useless. be the perfect amount of humor. Okay. Hey, Bob. Hey. How you doing? I'm all right. All right. Uh, well, let me jump over here and uh, go ahead and share my screen, and let's just get into it. We do got a lot to do today, so I don't want to waste time. Uh, okay. So uh, let me get right to it. <clears throat> So here's my share. You guys can see what I'm doing uh, under Chester there, uh, Larry, uh, and you can. Uh, I, I do have a visual, uh, a visual adventure for you. Uh, hey. So uh, here we go. You did your homework this week, didn't you? Uh, I, I well maybe it's possible. Uh, but, just uh, to be clear, I see I see all of our icons. Bear with me because it's okay. Got it popped up. Yeah. Forgive me for. Uh, Interrupting, I may do that a few times just until I get caught up with everybody. Well, are you uh, in the big group where you can see everyone together in the in the screen? On YouTube, yes. Yeah. Uh, not on YouTube, here on Discord. Mm. Hold on one moment. So, if you go to Discord and you go down uh, in this live where we are, and you go to, down the bottom, it says "Turn on camera." Uh, and of course, it, if you don't have camera, it won't be anything, but you could just cancel that. But what it will do is bring you in with everybody else, and then you can click on my screen and you can see it at live because uh, YouTube is delayed by seven seconds. So. Okay, well, I did click on a, a camera and it says unavailable, and then it won't let me do anything. Well, so. it's, uh, if you look at the thing, uh, uh, you're in the live, right? And then yep. down below it says voice connected, and then underneath that it's got a little camera icon. Just go ahead and click yep. on it. Yep, and I did. It says camera unavailable. Pop up comes says camera eyes? unavailable. Uh oh. We should be able to just we see. We can't detect any camera. Oh, Not your camera. Okay. 
Wait, Jesus. people are popping in and off on the right hand side. That was me. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> where you are, but you need to get into where we are. Um, hey, rabbit, kill your stream, rabbit, and then you'll see one camera there to the left of the on the far left of all the heads. Press the wrong button. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Top left, it says Chester. It says got watch. it, got it. I'm there. Oh, All right. Good. 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 Also, right. I sent you the link to the um, basically to the to the rules of how oh, Bard shit, works yeah. in uh, Fifth Edition. And uh, where would I find that? I just sent it to you in a private message. Oh, oh. okay. It's it's nice. Yeah, they, he sent it directly to. You. Usually, they just drop in the general for me and like go find it, Chester. <laughs> yeah. We're still using the same dice stream, right? Uh, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, right. uh, Larry, this will be for you, so uh, pay attention. All right, here we go. Uh, we are in the kingdom of uh, uh, Altaria, or the Altarian Empire. Uh, excuse me, not a kingdom. Uh, but uh, to be fair, uh, our game here has nothing to do with the empire at uh, in general. However. You and Rabbit's character are <clears throat> much more connected. Now, the Empire is at war, uh, which is not an uncommon uh, occurrence. But um, uh, there, about 30-some years ago, uh, there was a pass uh, found through the uh, eastern mountain range, a very large mountain range, uh, and opened up to a new territory. Uh, a trade center, of course, was set up, which is over the past three decades, has grown into a booming town. Uh, now, the crown itself is, uh, 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 this is a very important region to them for obvious reasons. Uh, you know, it, it is an old and creaking empire, uh, and having uh, access to new lands and fresh potential trade and, and adventure is a great thing for them. Uh, now, the, most of the people here uh, around you uh, today uh, were born in Iron Pass, <clears throat> so they know nothing of the greater empire, really. Uh, which you can imagine this as far as a, uh, a real a real world on, uh, analog uh, is uh, imagine that uh, it is Russia and uh, the main cities are over at Moscow and St. Petersburg and all that kind of those big beautiful cities over there uh, we are in the Altai Mountains in Mongolia so uh, that's how far removed you are from the day to day stuff however so just hop skip and a jump away yeah, quite a journey. Now, you were sent with uh, Rabbit's character, who is Investigator Second Class, uh, because they've been having trouble here. Uh, uh, the first real major issue they've had in town, uh, they are under assault by a coven uh, of night hags. And uh, it's not good. And, of course, our party here are the ones dealing with it. But they sent some uh, muscle in to help. Uh, Rabbit is the lead investigator. You are part of the 20 henchmen that were sent in uh, as a bard. Uh, you are connected. Uh, the We'll say the bard uh, colleges are connected to the Magi Sanctorum or, or Sanctum. Um, and uh, the, the here in this world, uh, the, the Magi Sanctum are more like... <clears throat> In the high Middle Ages, uh, the Catholic Church, right? Uh, they, of course, are wizards and such, but they're also highly politically involved in the running of state. Uh, the actual priests are more of a kind of an animistic uh, uh, priesthood. Therefore, it's hard to push dogma in that kind of situation. So the, the, the Magi or the wizards have taken that and the bards are associated with that. Now, it's very important, Larry. Uh, your character is Arents, I think you said. Is that right? That's correct. Mm. Now, yes. you were given by the Sanctum um, a special item to help deal with the night hags. So like I said, this area, this town is very important to the crown, right? Uh, which is why they dispatched you guys to go out there and help them fix the problem. Um, and uh, you were given a very special item. It is a, it is a we'll call it a cane, a staff. Uh, but it's only, you know, waist high. Uh, and basically the magic of this is a dimensional anchor. When it is placed, nothing Oops. can move dimensionally. Say that Say that one more time. You cut out. Dimensional a anchor. Dimensional anchor. anchor. Got it. Yes. In the form of a walking stick. Uh, now, mm -hmm. when you use it, you'll hold it up. It'll float in air. 
and whilst the magic is emanating, nothing can move dimensionally. This is very important with night hags. You were told very clearly, don't use it until they're all on the material plane so that they can be dealt with. So, uh, and you were instructed on how to use it. All right. Um, so uh, this is your main duty here in Iron Pass with the uh, investigator second class uh, to uh, uh, to deal with these night hags. All right. So uh, here is the town, uh, uh, Larry, and of course Chester. Larry, watching. Yes. One second. Is everybody hearing him cut out a little bit? Um, no. no, he sounds nope. pretty good from where I am. Okay. It may just be me. That, no problem. I just wanted to be. Well, you know what you could do? Be sure. Uh, uh, I'm Larry? getting 99% of what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah. Well, what you can do that usually helps with Discord is to drop out and come back in. Okay. Let me beep, grab beep. this. And I will wait. <laughs> But other than that, how are you guys doing? Okay. You got, uh, well, uh, how do I drop out? In the meantime, Sorry, guys. I, if you is it okay if I do? Yeah, you have to totally drop. In the meantime, um, I was I mean, actually close the program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, me, let me help him out here for a second, uh, sure. uh, Bill. Uh, all right. Which, this is what you do. Uh, you're looking at Discord, right? Yep. All right. Go down here, uh, and you'll see where we are, the live, right? If you go down to the yep. bottom, you go to see a voice connected live slash fan speak. Uh, yep. It's going to have noise of expression. Next to that, it has disconnect. So just hit that disconnect and then just come back in. Didn't uh -huh. get to the live. There we go. Sometimes and it can be go. the audio settings. So. Okay. Can you hear me better now? Yes. First time I've used Discord to play a game like this. I use it all the time, but not this way. So I appreciate it. Oh, Thanks no, for your okay. patience. It, it's me. actually a lot of fun. Uh, it's it, a pretty okay. handy thing. Anyway, to continue on, um, uh, so that's why you guys are here. Uh, I'm sharing the city, uh, right, the town right here, so you get you can see it. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and do a few other things for the audience and for Larry as well. Uh, these are our characters that I have art for anyway. We have uh, Brina Stinglepot. This is Lady's character. Say hi, Lady. She is a gnome uh, right. druid, and she uh, uh, she will turn you into unnatural things. So be nice. Okay. okay. Uh, we have a uh, a pair of half elves next. Uh, here we have Irune Sundu, and this is Amy's character. Uh, she's a half elf, uh, and of course her sister Lise Sundu, uh, not a half elf, but delusionally so. All right. <laughs> And then we have GOP's character. His name is Tater. Uh, he is uh, uh, a, the bastard son of the Baron, and the Baron here is actually a good guy. His son's the, the bastard. Uh, well, you know, in attitude. Uh, uh, whereas Tater here, or GOP, is the actual bastard. Uh, but uh, he, he worships devils, so we don't talk to him. Uh, okay? It's, it's wow. complicated. Yeah. It's complicated. No. <laughs> Simple. Well, um, if anyone's interested, uh, if, if you tell me how to do it, I can drop in a illustration of my character, but that's totally up to you. Yeah, just drop it in the, in the uh, uh, Discord, and I can uh, pick it up and uh, integrate it. Uh, we have uh, Puffin's character here, Roland Fairywind. Uh, we have uh, Bill's character, uh, uh, Badger here. We just call him Badger. Uh, we have uh, uh, Danny's character here, Shamara. Uh, and uh, now... These guys grew up together, so they all know you're 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 currently an outsider. Uh, but here's the Baron, uh, just so you uh, know, Larry, uh, and he is a good guy. And you, you guys reported to him a, a couple of days ago, uh, and are now uh, in hot pursuit. Uh, so you, after f uh, finishing various things, have uh, met up with uh, the investigator second class. Uh, what what is your character's name again, Rabbit? Sorry. Sorry, 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 and far, sorry, and far, sorry, and far, right? Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, uh, so, uh, now what you're after here, uh, Larry, is Derrid the Hag and her and her uh, coven or her coven. Uh, and Beautiful. she and she, you know, well, they are troublesome. Is uh, she single? Uh, uh you know, <laughs> maybe, <clears throat> yeah, uh, but uh, this is what you're after, you're hunting uh, these things, yeah. and uh, in the last mission, we had success uh, of a sort. Um, yeah. Of a sort. Um, 
We Semis. were name, uh, able to tag uh, one of the hags, which you don't. She's on. Una- she's an unnamed hag. Um, uh, so therefore, success in in the in the mission. Uh, but <clears throat> we're unable to save uh, the fair uh, Brandy Mary. Because likes. of somebody. Because, <laughs> oh no! No finger pointing. <laughs> Uh, but uh, <clears throat> now, after that event, um, uh, you uh, of course the henchmen are moving around town as well as the guard, and you guys are able to um, get her body taken away. And this building is locked down. I'm sure the uh, the sanctum is going to come and investigate and cleanse this with the uh, uh, God's Hall. I'm sure. Uh, but you guys are uh, 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 you know sad as it may be. You are standing around. Uh, and you're looking at the scroll, and the scroll is now magically a map of uh, of uh, Iron Pass itself. And you see the hag moving along, kind of like in Harry Potter, uh, just to give you an instance, uh, an understanding of it. Um, and uh, running up, uh, um, uh, Soren, uh, you have uh, your ma. He would effectively be your lieutenant, um, and uh, he now. I don't know how your character thinks about this, uh, these things, Rabbit, seeing as you are a soldier. You do serve the crown, uh, of course, uh, in, in it, no matter whether directly or indirectly. Uh, however, in your world, particularly where you guys come from the far east of the Empire, uh, the bards are connected to the, the sanctum. And the sanctum, like I said, are like the Catholic Church during the High Middle Ages. They are... Uh, they are they are the politic of mm-hmm. the empire. So I don't know how you interact or think about that. You might be all on board. You might not be. It's up to you. Uh, but nevertheless, <clears throat> he's here, and you know that he has been entrusted with a very important item. Okay? Uh, so he r- runs up and reports to you. So Larry, report to Investigator Second Class. Wow. Well, I'm from far away. And here I am. And apparently you guys need some help. So uh, what can I do for you? Investigator second class, you should reprimand your your, your henchmen. You guys are going to have to give me a little <laughs> so, help to catch so, up here. Sorry. I, I, yeah, no, he did that to me um, yes, last time as well. No, he just no, drops no. you in it. I, sorry, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cut my mic off for the next 10 minutes i'll be right but i'll be back okay. afterwards just... all right <clears throat> okay. all right let me explain larry I, I did throw it on you too quickly um we are in a very large empire uh, a la russia right okay um yep. and uh you and uh rabbit's character he's in an come from far away you come from the mm-hmm. far east uh of the mm-hmm. empire and you live in the yep. you live in the midst of it the hustle and bustle Got it. like i said there is a war going on uh, but the crown considers this town to be extremely important and the past that it protects. So uh, the Got crown uh, will expar- uh, uh, spares no expense when it comes to this town. Um, and uh, they are under attack by a, a coven of, of uh, hags. night hags. Uh, you yep. have been sent out to help them. You traveled... Uh, for a week and a half, uh, of course, there is some good transportation stuff that got you most of the way magically. Uh, but we're so far out, you did have to come on horseback the rest. Anyway, you traveled with Rabbit's character. He is in charge of the the unit that you were sent with, right? He is a yeah. city investigator. He's a, he's a detective, basically, is what he is. Um, and you were attached to him. He is your superior, Right. Uh, so you guys spent a week uh, uh, together. Now, before that, you probably didn't know each and other. Give me, and give me his name one more time. Soren Farr. My superior. Soren Farr, Farr is my superior. Investigator Got second it. class. Got it. Okay. I'm, re- I'm taking notes. So. That's good. You should do that. Um, and you probably didn't know him before this because, like I said, uh, it's your character. I don't know how much you're involved in the politic or not. Uh, but your organization is political, for sure, right? Like I said, Got imagine it. it's the Catholic Church of the High Middle Ages, um, and you're associated with it, right? Like maybe you're a friar, so you could be a, a good working friar, or you could be Friar Tuck. You know, not that you're religious, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's up to you how you play it. 
Uh, but that's why you're here. So you know and a, it, and a, you've known it for a week. And, and a, quick clarifi- a quick clarification. Forgive me for interrupting when I do, because I'll forget the question. Yeah. Does anyone else know that I have that cane? No. Okay, got well, it. The rabbit does. You okay, know, okay, rabbit, one person he knows. He knows. Yeah, he got, but of course and rabbit does. is? He is Soren Farr. Your, okay, uh, I want to make sure it's the same person. person. Yeah, yeah, it is. Got it. Yeah. Now, okay. Like I said, you spent the past week on the road with 21 guys. Right. You have Rabbit's mm-hmm. character, who's the boss. You're the basically as far as rank goes, you're the, you're the, the lieutenant for him. Um, and uh, uh, everyone else are of varying skills and stuff sent to help this particular problem. Um, so it. you have spent a week with him. You know him well enough for, you know, camping together for a week. Um, and uh, uh, you find yourself in town and you've just met up with the group because you had other responsibilities before you could come over uh, and uh, you're just reporting, okay? So and do, you, I, and do I know anything about this group? Is there anything that I would have a common you've knowledge? Some files. Okay. Uh, they call themselves the Iron Company. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, GOP, go ahead. That's why they call us Iron Company. I won't deny. That's yeah. right, we're oh, Iron company. company. Sorry, yeah. I had to do it. I, uh, I I'm wondering. Gave me my chance. Do, I did. Do we have another bard? Apparently, yes, you do have a bard, and he's the reason why you're not allowed to play bards. <laughs> well, looks like we're gonna have to have a competition at some point. I just. Oh, I just no. picture the little claws of real bard on his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's evil though. Don't talk to him. Don't talk. I'm to not him. evil. Oh, well. yeah. Just circumstances. Uh, but anyway, okay. okay. So, um, this is uh, your the the situation that your character is involved mm-hmm. with. Uh, you just came up and you have studied these guys. Uh, these all are c- connected to. Uh, local families, uh, mostly the gotcha. founding families of Iron Pass. Uh, so many of them do have political connection, uh, whether the kids, you know, our rope, our players know it or not. Um, and <clears throat> these, uh, they've been just normal, trying to be up and coming adventures. They're the Goonies. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. They're, the Goonies. Uh, they're the Goonies. And um, who's uh, which? Which uh, person would be um, Dunk? And uh, oh, uh, sloth. I'd like to know who sloth is. Oh, specifically. sloth. Uh, his his name is Puffin. Oh, because I sh- I thought it was a guy who was singing. Okay, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend that, you. No, that yeah. was no, that, chunk. I was expecting the singer. I was is a chunk. <laughs> Just yeah, so you know. it's um, it's true. <laughs> it's chunk. Um, uh, 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 you know the uh, uh, but uh, Puffin is our uh, cleric. Uh, of war, a war cleric, uh, who okay. does not believe in clerical things. No, not at all. No. So you're an atheist? Yeah. No, 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 weird. no. My uh, de- my deity is a uh, is a murder hornet. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Is a is a what? Murder hornet. A uh, a Vespa, a hornet god. Yes. A murder hornet. Yes. No, he's yep. horrible. Mm. Don't talk to him either. Yeah. Don't talk <laughs> to me either. Okay. Now. There is a and who, what's the other bard's the other bard's name is there, there is no other bard. Uh, he is oh. uh, uh, he is a warlock, uh, and uh, oh his name God is Tater. singing warlock. Yeah, I know. Yep, it's pretty. Bad. I think we might have to send him away. I think we should. Yeah. I think we. Should. I'll, I'll think of something. Thank you. Um, but um, uh, then, of course, uh, there is one person here that is not in your file, though. Okay. Um, you don't know who he is, uh, and he's just walked up to the crew uh, uh, as well, slightly before you did, uh, and he is a Sverfnoblin, or a deep gnome, which is really weird to see one walking around. He has a very large brimmed hat on and sunglasses, uh, because, you know, it's it's bright and all that, uh, but uh, uh, you guys see your gnome friend uh, has walked up. Uh, be grumpy, Bob. Go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> Good job. All right. So <clears throat> anyway, we got the party together uh, and we're going to carry on directly. Uh, now, uh, you guys uh, are sitting there. Two people who weren't involved with the fight just came up. Uh, the Noma showed up because uh, of all the commotion. Uh, and of course, uh, we also have uh, uh, one of the investigators uh, uh, people came up, which is doesn't alarm anybody. Right. 
uh, that's normal. Uh, so, but you were sitting, and I assume this would be Amy. She's the one who cast it. She's the one who has the scroll. Uh, you are looking at this scroll. And the scroll has magically turned itself into, after casting the spell, uh, a, a, a beautiful, detailed, high-res uh, 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 map of Iron Pass. Uh, and as the, uh, ta the tag tagged object moves, so does the map. Um, and you guys are watching the hag move. Uh, so what do you want to do? Oh, I want to ask who tagged that hag. Amy did, the paladin. Wow, that was uh, smart thinking. It was smart. They planned it. <laughs> and, and, how, and how did you, as I'm looking up, thank you for sending the image with all of the characters' names. So, no Aaron. Problem. Yes? Uh, how did you cast this uh, tag spell? I'm assuming it's some kind of a spell. I'm afraid that's very much to the credit of all of my friends. The professor, well, one of the professors of magic helped my sister put together a scroll that could, if it were cast secretly, would track her if she didn't notice it enough to dispel the thing. I, oh, I'd made a fool of myself and was quite useless in the fight, but I woke up in time to cast the spell on her before she vanished. And, well, thankfully it's held. It may not be too much now, but we're about to make things even. But make things even this time, I think. Noted. Uh, by the way, everyone who is working on their skills, go ahead and make your rolls as usual. You know, just do it on your own. Uh, you goes get you guys know if it's a new uh, a new skill you're trying to gain, it's a DC ten. If it's a uh, skill you already have that you're trying to uh, increase, it's a DC twelve. Uh, make those rolls. Yes, and uh, by the way, uh, this week, uh, Melissa. Uh, you yeah. are actually starting to make money with the plus 20% because of the charms. Uh, you now have a profit of $5,000 in your pocket. Uh, yes, Lee. Oh. Are we all start? What level are we all starting at? Uh, four, uh, everyone's fourth, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, but so you're I'm starting a secret, at level four. You're a secret spy, mm -hmm. so make yourself level five. Okay. Got it. Ooh. Um, all right, what was your question, lady? Not much of a secret now. I didn't have a question. <laughs> Someone has asked me something. I had a oh, question, yeah. uh, but it wasn't me who was. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so how much time has elapsed since the end of the combat? None. We had none. Okay, so we had temporary hit points um, in in action. Um, yeah, it's not the gonna. Fight. It's not gonna last. By the time we guys, I'm going to be gone for thirty for thirty seconds. Just come in, just more. Right. Then my wounds come back, and I start blood starts coming off around my neck and collarbone. So All right, so pretty heal bad. heal him, someone who has heal. Okay. Yes, uh, we are going to need to take a short rest. War war cleric. I'm healing him. I'm All just right, to good. Nice. Just, we have to remind you that you're a cleric from time to time. Um, all righty. Uh, so, uh, Amy, you're looking at this uh, map, and I'm you back. guys see that the uh, uh, the hag is moving. Uh, so, mm -hmm. and several of you, I'm assuming, are looming, uh, looking. And the uh, the gnome comes up, sees everyone looking, and, uh, and he comes up, and he's on his tippy toes to see the map. Uh, 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 his big, big fat head and brimmed hat is in the way of everybody. <laughs> Be grumpy, Bob. Piss off. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'd like to uh, what, quietly, what if I, if, if, it, it? if it's okay, yeah. uh, <clears throat> Bob, Bob, as we watch your head ringing around, I kind of wish you were dead, because then you'd funny. be lying on the ground, and your hat wouldn't be in the way. It's way too large and round. So if you could uh, kind of trim that hat a little bit, that would help the rest of us out. No. Take it off when you're inside. See, GOP? <laughs> That's a bard. That is a bard. Now, do you see I have had I a I, I bow down to your wisdom, good sir. Thank you. <laughs> That's good, because I won't have to sing a song that'll make you a little nervous later. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, all right. So once again, <clears throat> uh, Amy. You yes. are looking at the map and you're watching the hag move through the town. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? 
<laughs> well, I feel like we should probably try to track down where she's been. Like, if we've been watching it, does she have a place where they seem to, like, locate and pause for a bit that might be, like, their headquarters? Um, cur currently and since the end of the, the battle, like I said, obviously there's a battle sounds are, were going on. Uh, Town mm -hmm. Garter showed up. Even some of the... <clears throat> Some of uh, Rabbit's henchmen, uh, you know, uh, government soldiers have showed up too. So you, they they are taking Brandy uh, Brandy's body out and securing the area. <clears throat> but you guys literally are standing on the street right after. No time is well. Lost. Can I, well, we can need I, to go someplace a little more secure. So if the hags are watching, they don't see what and we're you guys doing. probably do need a rest because there are damaged individuals and stuff. So uh, maybe you should go to one of your hangouts and, and watch the map. Where would you like can to I go? Feel Brandy? No, she's gone. I'm oh. fine. No, Brandy's dead. Now you're fine. Bob's fine. I. Uh, Good, good, Bob. Now rub some, you rub some, rub some dirt on it and suck it up. Let's go. That's right. Uh, so uh, we can go anywhere in town proper we'd like. Uh, of course, so we're not too far away from uh, Dolden's Tavern. Mm -hmm. uh, we could also let's go uh, there. Go to you old Rapid Dining. Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, you go to Sally's Kitchen. Uh, you could go all the way down to the Stoneback, but the gnome will probably complain because he just walked all the way over and that would piss him off. So probably don't do that. No? Okay, yeah. that's a good reason to not do it. Not okay. we have hey, Bob, I just want you to know that that little song is not a personal song. I sing about everybody. And if no, it no, was no. meant to no, be no, personable, no. personal, no. You'll, you'll know. You can't back up now. He hates you forever. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm just telling you it's not personal. If it was personal, you'd be in a lot of pain right now. That's but I would never do that. Because no, that's, that's, that's not my kind of guy. It hasn't been... Sally's hasn't had any hag activity that we know of. Let's go there. That's true. Okay, so, uh, and you're very close to Sally's. So, uh, you guys uh, basically cross over the street, and you end up in Sally's, and um, she's uh, been looking, she's looking out the window as you come in, and she comes, you know, she's a halfling, so she's, she shuffles over, uh, hop, bounces maybe, bounces. Uh, the problem with it is Sally is rather top-heavy, so when she bounces, boy, does she bounce. Uh, but uh, she comes over and she says, uh, uh, what, "What do you got? What's going on? What do you guys need? You want you want something to drink?" And, and she kind of runs back over and starts making drinks for you guys. She's so. I kind. find a place to sit. Okay. And uh, I think some tea might set me right. Go ahead, Amy. I think some tea might set me right. I'm still a little shaken by all that. Let's see. How are we going to track down this evil creature? We have a map. We have well, a you're, map. you have a map. Okay. I guess that leaves um, access, so. Now, Sally does bring drinks and stuff. You guys are, in effect, what we're doing is taking a short rest. Uh, Larry, this is a, uh, uh, a an aspect of 5th edition. They allow you to kind of gain back some spells and health and stuff for a short one short rest of the day. Um, gotcha. Uh, where in the old days you just slept and that was your short rest, right? Uh, but you get two now. Uh, nevertheless. Now, do I personally know Sally's name yet? Has she introduced herself or... No, she has not. Okay. Uh, um, you okay. don't have any idea who she is. Uh, okay. Bob's been here for a few weeks. He might know who she is. She is a cute little halfling thing. She's about your size. A little taller, but you know, Bob. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, um, you guys have walked over here, sitting down. You've been watching the hag, and she has been moving uh, uh, quite directly. Um, and uh, she is out of town now, heading what? toward the northwest. Oh, my goodness. Well, in the north where and ex exactly where are we at this moment? Outside? We're We've gone inside to Sally's place. place. We're inside a uh, little. We're cafe. inside. Um, and, okay. Um, actually, of everybody here, there's probably a couple. Uh, but you, Mr. Bard, uh, you most certainly have a file you were given, as was Rabbit's character. Uh, and in that file is a map of the town. And of course, you've been watching this. Uh, this is not a. Uh, a, a very high bird's eye view, so we're kind of on the ground. But uh, you do bring that map out and put it on the table. And, she uh, headed to Gord's Mine. Is that what we're able to? That determine? is exactly where she's heading. Yes. I did take a second and say hi to David and Ethereal. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> These are YouTube viewers. Um, <clears throat> Uh, nice to have you guys with us, of course. Uh, but yes, you uh, it brings out the map. You look at it. You compare the two, uh, and that you are correct, uh, Badger. 
uh, she is heading toward Gord's Mine. Uh, now, uh, Gord's Mine is... Um, uh, I'll bring up uh, the visual I put together for it, the, the, the play. Got it. Um, now, uh, Gord's Mine... And uh, it's, just very quickly, are we at the tavern? You are at a cafe called Sally's. A cafe? Uh, yeah, Sally's. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. and, uh, yeah, you're, I'm looking at the map, though. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and you guys are comparing the, the map you were given uh, for your uh, for your job and this magical scroll that has become a map, a moving map. Uh, now, Gord's Mine, uh, uh, which I have up here, Gord's Mining Conglomerate, is run by a bunch of dwarves. Now, um, dwarves being dwarves, uh, you guys don't know much about them. Um, uh, during your life, occasionally a, a dwarf or two might show up in town for supplies at Mary's, possibly, right? Uh, but um, uh, you hardly ever see them right uh occasionally you'll see a, a caravan a wagon train uh moving through the pass from the mine uh but uh they're just they're dwarves right so uh, none of you have ever been to the mine unless you have some very specific reason why you would be uh but uh, uh but so you don't know what's going on uh but uh you you do know that you know very little about the mine and even more so the dwarves hmm. right I guess this is where most of the metal comes from for the town, or is it? Is there more than one mine? Uh, this is the big one, um, and they do uh, interact and trade with the town. They're not. <clears throat> I don't. You don't know the politic of it. Uh, you would mm -hmm. have to ask. Tater probably would, uh, because he is a noble. Therefore, he would have that knowledge. Uh, but um, uh, so maybe you should ask Tater. Mm. Uh, Irrelevant. What's to so know? They're dwarves. They dig in the ground. That's true. You're right, Bob. Um, uh, Tater, well, you, you know that uh, they do have an arrangement, but uh, uh, Gord's Mining Conglomerate is by license not actually affiliated with the town. Their their property is considered sovereign. Okay. I'll convey all this information to the party then. And technically speaking, my status as clan crafter means that my background as clan crafter that uh, means I I know how to speak dwarfish. Oh, good. I'll be back. Yeah, good. That's handy. Um, yeah, uh, that's but um, uh, all right. So uh, that, that's about all you guys and, really know about the dwarves. And Rabbit is back, right in the room, in the chat. No, he I, stepped away for a moment. He's, he's stepped away for a moment. Uh, he might be listening. Okay, he's still he's gone. Speaking. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he's probably okay. got something going on. He's he's a musician, so. Um, oh, gotcha. I was going to lean over and talk to him for a moment, but clearly I can't do that, so I'll have to wait. Were you trying to say something, Bob? No. <laughs> okay, thank you. I do I'll... love the short interaction, Bob. It's perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, sure enough, uh, uh, you see that the the, uh, the hag goes into the mine and uh, uh, eventually... It, it, it becomes so faded that you really can't see the movement. Uh, every now and then you, you, you see like a little glimpse, a little blur, uh, but it, 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 she must have went deep. <clears throat> wow, even magic. Go on the ground. So uh, we got a plan to kill her, right? You guys got a plan? No. We do, every plan we've had so far has gone pear-shaped. And we, people die. Yeah. Well, it's a hag. We do know where she is, and that's something. Now, that's, why'd she run to the mine? I don't know. I suppose they must have well, somewhere. We hit her pretty good. I mean, we we were gonna kill her, but every time we get close to killing them, they they vanish into the, another plane. We every time. Why do keep her from running? I so start waving my mind? hand at the waitress. Um, okay, she barely see, sees the very edge of your middle finger. I, I'm i going to lift her up. Okay, good. So, <laughs> um, I'm uh, only two foot six. I, we know, we know. Uh, and she says, uh, yes, my dear. Do any of the dwarves from the mining conglomerate come here to trade with you? Oh, goodness, no. No. Oh. Would Cindiri know them? An 
Elvin Smith. She's a Smith. Oh. Yeah, she has to get her medal from somewhere. Someone has not read their Tolkien. <laughs> Elves they and generally don't like each other. Elves and dwarves no. hate each other. Antithope. Yeah. Yeah. They. You guys but... don't interact. Um, uh, although they might, they don't necessarily kill you on sight. Elves might kill a dwarf on sight, though. Yeah, you guys don't like each other. Uh, now, gnomes, however, this beautiful uh, surf niblin sitting in front of you, you guys love gnomes. I love a smurf niblin. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves gnomes, even that's the grumpy true. ones. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, But dwarves, no. And uh, so she says, so that's her answer. Um, you guys finish your short rest. Uh, everyone has had some beverages. Uh, you get whatever your short rest gives you as far as returning of uh, actions or skills, or and I think there's a little bit of healing or whatever is happens with a short rest happens. Um, it is uh, you guys are going pretty early in the morning, uh, so it is lunchtime. And uh, 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 Sandy, uh, uh, or excuse me, Sally does bring a bunch of sandwiches uh, over to the group. Uh, and of course, soup? she is. Uh, oh, great! Uh, now we've got to deal with sandwiches. Sandwiches. Oh. oh, 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 sandwiches. Got you. My mistake. First, um, I was thinking hag. Then I was thinking sandwiches. It's fun all day long. <laughs> right? Oh, God. This is going to be great. Uh, by the way. Hey, hey, hey Brad, what's up? Uh, sandwiches, yeah, yeah, sandwiches just, can be darn. such difficult just keep, people. Just keep in mind, Rabbit, that uh, this is your subordinate. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't heard most of what was going on. Well, uh, next, don't lucky. worry, next week everything will be normal because that's of the time. It's just because of the time change. Uh, that's okay. Because okay. uh, I know I've heard some of his rhymes. They're hilarious. But in character, it's more of like a... <laughs> hey, I'm just joking um, anyway. Uh, it's, it's, great. It love, it's great to have good character, actually. Uh, all right. So, I have, yeah. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody stop. Uh, all right. So short rest is done. You've had your sandwiches. Uh, you've had your refreshments, uh, and uh, you need to make a decision. Are you going to go to the mine now, or are you going to wait till tomorrow, or what have you? What are you doing? I need to know. Have a um, powwow. And for you, well, if you those non-Americans, that means meeting. Right, so just stop. Uh, before everyone continues, right, so the map that we had has told us they're in the mining thing, right? That's what I'm gathering. Yes, yes. you are. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm so go we just need to go and kill them. Whilst you guys powwow, Bill, keep this rabble in order. Rattle, rattle, I mean, rattle. Wait, wait. Should is Chester go? making coffee, or is the or I'm, is I'm making coffee, Chester's as making in me. Uh, and Bob, keep Bill in order. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, keep sorry. Bill in order. So, so there's a. Uh, well, but before every, before everybody starts, I just want you all to know that I'm playing a soft little inspirational song to help everyone get organized in their thoughts, and uh, I'll listen okay. if you make plans. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. oh, why is no yeah, we should question. just get tooled up and march in there. I mean, why is soldiers. nobody asking the question why she went to the mine instead of going to another dimension? Is well, going to well they have, that's a good question. We should that's find out, find out what need. this chick is all about. Do they not Can we, do we, a, does, does anybody have a plane for a coven? They have to have a material someplace on the material plane to act. Like they, have, okay. they don't exist in the real, right? Do they have a spy? Wow. Do we have somebody that can sneak and go and find out? You know, sneak. I, yes, I, 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 that's a that's a great idea because I'd like to know to as she's going down the path, and bouncing along. The only problem we have is that the mine itself is sovereign from the Baron, so we have to be able to. Get yeah, but I mean, I'm a, I'm a uh, from the crown, not you know, which is like the whole yeah, of the they're, area, they're, right? They're, not, they're, they're not sovereign from, from the either. crown. They're not part of the. Empire. Okay, all right. Well, well yeah. then, and we've got a bunch of bloody elves with us, don't we? So that that <laughs> makes a little. We can. I mean, we can go incognito, maybe set up something ahead of time, so it's not ten of us coming down there all at once. No, well, that's I mean, why I'm asking if anyone's sneaky or stealthy, or if anyone can like, I don't know, scry. I don't know what everybody has. I'm sneaky not sneaky people. I well, I've got a. Pet. I don't have a quite the ability quite yet, but um, I could have. I could have used my uh, uh, my pet as an arcane eye. 
but that's okay. Yeah. Um, what I was saying was that one of us maybe get meet with Gord, True Hammer, and yeah. get his acquiescence for us to enter the mine to vanquish the coven that is well, now. Who gets the yeah. dwarves the best? I wonder if, it, if there's I even any to. dwarves going on. I mean, we don't know. The shit may have hit the fan. And yeah, we need to go already. and investigate. We do basically right. need to go there and investigate from a distance and then see if, what, whether we can just go in or not. You know, we, we don't know. There might be a, other entrances that are unguarded. So there might be no one there, like you say. To I'll see if the mine on. has been... I'm sorry, go ahead. I'll put one of my mom's hoods on. No one will be able to maybe tell. Hey, can I say something? Yes. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so Lisa is kind of like she's just kind of she's been pretty distraught by everything that's been happening today. But and she she uh, how she she finds comfort by writing ideas that make things better, like how to you know to make it find it make invention that'll make everything better. She <laughs> loves that. It, it, it makes her feel like she can, can actually help. And so she feels like there's two things that seem to be of utmost importance. What, how to track down, you know, what, figure out what the hag is up to, to find some kind of way to kill it. And just kind of like, well, if she keeps traveling these here, is it, if we can't go into the ethereal plane, could it create a charm or, a, or like a magic object of some kind that could prevent her from phasing into the plane? Could I do any research to see if that's possible? Or in this case of investigation, could she, maybe I could create like a homunculus or some kind of like magic drone that could like be like our eyes and let us kind of like investigate the world without us being there or it's trying to kind of well i got a oh, really? that can go 100 feet from me hmm? was it? You, you what kind of homunculus can you create yeah we uh, went we weren't sure last time were we uh, i can't remember what you said yeah part of the homunculus it, it could take any form i want um, that's interesting. Yeah. So it could be a bat in the cave or a dwarf. It could be what's a the, dwarf. What's the smallest it, yeah. and largest it can be? But like a bat would be a good call, especially if you to fly around, or uh, maybe a mole, or like an insect or something. It could be quite small. Uh, yeah, I think it should be something on the ground. If it's flying around, it's going to draw yeah. her attention. And she may closet. detect that it's well, not just a bat. I have, I have a, a closet. Familiar. Familiar. Have. I have a rat familiar. Rat familiar. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Go 100 that works. Me, I can see through his eyes. So How long does it take do... to make a homunculus? That's the thing. Does it take ages, or is it something that can be done quickly? Yeah, no, something we could do bad, today. Because mm -hmm. okay, we need to get going on this. <laughs> well, as far as killing her, why don't we just cave in the cave the cave in on her? Do we know if the dwarfs are all right? If the night hags have been there, has yeah, we we can't been... kill innocent people, even if they are dwarfs. <laughs> Do we know um, if they've reported any attacks on them? Has well, if they're separate, they're probably not going to, are they? We need to just go and investigate. We're well, well tooled up. So these guys are out. You can make your homunculus, and we just need to gather what we need and just go. Because well, while okay. we're messing around, they might get further away, and then they might not be there. Or, the, you know, evidence well, they have already gone. No reason to think that we are on to them uh, yet. True, I'm, I'm, true, but... And you know. so... And so any decision? Anyway, to... yeah, so, well, we were kind of going back and forth a bit. Um, no, I have an idea, something we haven't... Interject real quick before you tell me what you've decided. Uh, do keep in mind that Rabbit, beyond uh, 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 Larry's character here, um, uh, has a further 19 henchmen with him. Uh, well trained, that, yeah. by the way. Uh, and uh, adding that to the various uh, town guard that you would be able to employ, you could easily drop 50 armed men onto that place. Go ahead. I said that we should just march there, but, th th but then we were discussing the getting into the mine. But we need to go and check it out either way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are okay. options. You can do it on your own if you'd like. It's up to you. May I, uh, may I throw something out then? Perhaps there's someone who could go ahead. What do you think of that? Even though we're following, I agree with the Rat. Uh, Bob, yeah, I, I think Bob. so. Yeah. yeah, kill the bard. I'm thinking. Of <laughs> it. No, we need it, to. Dude. Wow. No, I do. Uh, I think we should send him and somebody else, Nikki, to go and scout ahead while we gather our forces. 
troops and all when there's you know head that way while we Ready gather our fight. forces there's no need for horses i still think we should I go for the, the head with my staff <laughs> <laughs> well, we certainly don't um, want. Uh, okay. Wow. Over here. So, if I if I may interject. Yes. All right. So um, we could. I mean, granted, I know it's a separate organization, but I probably if we stop by the keep and I talked with my father, uh, he might give me some sort of uh, you know official business kind of note to at least smooth things over, so it doesn't look like we're just invading this guy's mind for no reason. Right. True, but just, yep, yeah. We could do that. <laughs> sure. And we can pick up his extra man at the same time. Okay, I mean, we so could. You, so, uh, Soren, get, why don't you gather your troops? Um, Snurf Nibblin and I will go and investigate the current state of the mine. Okay. We'll have um, our artificer is going to create. How, if you can do the homunculus right like now, then. Then we'd have a third person to investigate with. And then, um, Tater, you go get Daddy's favor. And then that means I, um, we take Roland and. Roland's um, not here. Hey, pick up your dice, guys. Oh, yeah. Roland's not here. Yeah, let me, I'll clean it. I'll clean it. Yeah, we got okay. because it, it just gets things way too uh, yeah, yeah, cluttered. Well, you, you can't roll right if there's. I cleaned the it. Way. It's good. Yeah. Then, um, Celtic, why is your druids? Do you have a, any kind of subterfuge with your spell list? Or... No. Okay. Just... Um, would you want? You have a bear form though, and uh, so you'd be good backup in case we have a problem. I'll, we'll call. I can yeah, call on you. If you're going to scout, don't bring anyone who can't scout. No, that's yeah. cool. my self. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. I can, only, go with I, can, I can only pass without trace. So, okay. Uh, are we are we discussing still the possibility of using a homunculus? Yeah. We would and how to, about up. this? Uh, how about this familiar rat? If something were to happen, what would happen to that? I mean, if, if you dies, lost that familiar, that would be kind of harmful, right? You, you can no. because you then can you'd have to find another harmful. No, no, no. Are, you guys, are you guys overthinking shit again? Yes, no. yes, they yes. Are. No. yes, they are. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I think there should be. It's all a because people are among us. Everybody's going to gather uh, forces yeah. and get people together. Bob, yeah. Bill, you're with me. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I just turned around. And I started walking towards them. I'm yeah, like, I'm you guys are the stealthies. So you, the rest of you, uh, gather henchmen and town guard and shit like that, and get permissions. So I'll come back and deal with that in a minute. Uh, when it comes to uh, uh, Tater. Uh, all right, so uh, Bill, Bob, you guys head off, and you guys uh, get outside the mine. Uh, uh, it takes a little bit. Of course, it's quite a bit outside of town, uh, but uh, it's not that far. Um, and uh, uh, as you come up to the camp and you see the entrance, which is open, by the way, uh, there is no activity whatsoever, nothing, yeah, on the outside of the mine. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I think she killed yeah. him. She probably did. Do you want to yeah. see if your rat can smell death? Yeah, I just pull the rat out and I just kind of like slightly toss him. Go. Okay. Can you see through the eyes of your familiar? Of course you can. Yeah, uh, I grab on Bill. I grab your sleeve. I ain't gonna be able to see her here. So, yeah, okay. like smack me if something happens. I'll hold him by the cuff of his neck. All right. If we need. Uh, so, uh, Bob. Uh, your rat yeah. skitters uh, toward the entrance, and in it goes. Uh, it goes down uh, as it comes into the uh, <clears throat> into the uh, entry uh, hall. Uh, it's very well done. It's perfectly dug, of course, being dwarves. Uh, it is uh, beamed by wood with uh, uh, it looks like uh, various forms of metal capping and stuff. Uh, and very quickly, uh, uh, as you're going into this normal-looking mine, things begin to change as the rat comes into a large entry area uh, or congregating area. There are lots of machines in this. You can see the picture I have here. Uh, but what you see is the walls are covered with these black 
uh, brambles writhing like some deep sea creature, glistening. The walls are covered in a slime with the uh, the the motes of uh, lichen uh, uh, beaming through here or there. It is darker than normal. Of course, this means nothing to you. Uh, but the floor is scattered with bones and viscera. Uh, you see uh, in the wall, held by the brambles, there are at least a half a dozen dwarves that are have succumbed to the hag's evil. Uh, treachery. This place is an absolute ambush nightmare. And yeah. there is nothing here that is alive that is moving other than your rat. Okay, so this is about the worst possible thing ever. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't think we should go in here tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna put okay. that out there. I'll I'll relay exactly what I see. Sure. And then, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's death waiting for us there. Yes. So, and this um, is no. the entry hall. We don't know what's below, right? Yeah, it's not so a mine. She basically, it's a tomb. Yeah, she basically <laughs> took control of this place and just took a massive dump on it with her awfulness. Which is our hags? Yeah. Poop. So I don't want to deal with it. Um, so I'm going to go back and uh, get some soup. Uh, the rat is <laughs> ah. complaining as you're walking back to get your soup that you sent him into this place. It's not particularly happy. Uh, now, you're familiar. Is he uh, uh, or she? Uh, uh, is it uh, from the Feywild? Is it from the Shadowfell? Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of familiar yeah. did you take? Um, I just took it like a, just, uh, from the Feywild. So it's just, okay. yeah. So it's not happy, but I don't it's give not, a shit. It's not happy. Yeah, the the, the Shadowfell yeah. one probably would have liked the, the, the groove of it. Uh, but anyway, yeah. you guys have ba head back to Sally's, and uh, the gnome immediately orders a bowl of soup. She gives you this <laughs> new concoction. She calls it chowder. Ooh. See, I don't they, like it. They've been, and I eat the whole thing. Okay. Uh, they've, been, <laughs> they've been trading. Uh, of course, there has been a... Uh, 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 some outreach program from the Baron uh, to interact with the uh, lizard folk tribes and try to make some peace. Uh, and they have been trading for things. And amongst the things they've been trading are river clams. And uh, Sally has found them to be quite tasty. Mm. And so do you, even though yeah, you don't this, admit that. This tastes <laughs> like some knife or shit. It needs a bit of salt, though, you think. You do think it needs a bit of salt. I put a bunch uh, of pepper in it and just okay. grimace and doesn't eat it. Good. Uh, but um, anyway. uh, I'd, I'd like to I'd like to uh, 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 ask the uh, barkeep if she would mind bringing me some soup. It looks delicious, she as does. long as there's nothing that's inside too suspicious. That's fair. I heard um, that it's called delicious chowder. If you could bring me some salt or other seasoning powder. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, but this is what a bard Somebody does. To you. This is what a bard does. Hey, it's what it's I'm, hey I'm just playing it's the character. You are, sir. You are. Oh, uh, it's and, no, uh, no, trust me, trust me, uh, we're okay. Yeah, uh, but uh, all right. So, uh, of course, she brings it. Uh, by the way, you and Bob. Uh, that costs four bucks. Uh, everybody else for the sandwiches and stuff. She's actually because she's very upset about the loss of Mary, of course. Uh, uh, but uh, you guys should throw a couple bucks each at her oh. just uh, just to you know cover her costs. I and Larry, shit. Uh, just to let you know, so we're converting the um, the traditional money system in this. You know, uh, so for fifth edition, it's you know uh, copper is is uh, so you got a copper, you've got silver, which okay. is ten copper. You know, ten gold is is okay. silver. Um, just with this, though, we're doing bucks in your pocket. Yeah, we're uh, we're just doing do so ten, ten, dollars. Ten, ten silvers, a gold. Is that correct? Yeah, no, just yes. just yeah. forget all but, of that, okay. and you have a thousand dollars in your pocket. Okay, we're just simplifying it to a dollar. I have a lot system. of newbies here, so I just uh, I'm not you know I'm not getting <laughs> yeah. into it. So uh, I still find a okay. dollar's more confusing. But why? It's just so. direct. Oh well, that's right, because you're British. But you know that's not <laughs> because our fault. you're yeah. British. That's your fault. Um. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's all right. We do like Michael Caine, though, so you can stay. All right. I don't. Um, like him. As long as sixteen I ounces, as long him. as long as sixteen ounces is still a pound, I think we're all good. That's fair. That is fair. Yeah, yeah, I told her to put it on my tab. Um. Uh, <laughs> <Sally kind laughs> of sideways and just uh, uh, creates one. Uh, nevertheless, so 
you guys have this new information that is relayed to you by Badger and uh, uh, what, what's the gnome's name again? Uh, uh, the gnome's name is Zoldi. Zoldi, Zoldi. Stone Year. Zoldi oh, I had the wrong the thing. Okay, yeah, I have to change Zoldi. your name on here. Uh, not Goldie, Zoldi. Uh, because okay. they're belligerent. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, thank you for saying Goldie. Now I have a, a word to rhyme with his name to make a song for him later. Oh, very I good. appreciate that. That's good. You want to die? Okay. Uh, well, you could go with Goldie or Moldy or or, or Soldy or uh, uh, Solidifiedly. <laughs> uh, the last one, I don't know. Um, no. <laughs> Why? My strong, no. my strongest spell here. Okay. okay, so the next thing is we have this pack Sandy Mandy. where they think they think they're going to get Patty. babies from us. So we need to use that to lure them out because there's no way in the seven hells that we're going into that money because it is. You have an job. army. We do. We, 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 I know. Well, if we go in there, it's funny. It's funny, army it's funny how I don't know if you know they'll just like say, "Oh, there's an army." Can I make an arcana check to see if that stuff, like, what that stuff was? Oh, it's Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Those brambles. All right. But if we have a mix, oh, yeah, this is a for sure. Like, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, Bob, that's the first time you've seen those. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, make a roll, uh, DC 14. Okay, disadvantage or? No, it's arcane. So. Okay. Oh, there you something. go. All right, 25. Oh, no, no problem. Uh, yes, these are, uh, you have seen these used before, uh, not by the uh, Illithid, but by the, dr the drow. Uh, now, okay. uh, you, you grew up uh, as a slave to the Illithids, as uh, your whole crew did, right? That All of those uh, surfed of Lynn. And uh, mm -hmm. the Illithid, uh, before they fell to the drow, allowing you guys to escape, uh, they had been warring and banging at each other your entire life. Right, uh, and the drow uh, use a, a certain type of fiendish magic uh, that uh, takes the. They call it the root, the roots of the earth, is what the the, dr the drow call it. Translation, um, and uh, in undercommon, and uh, it is uh, basically and uh, uh, kind of a form, a uh, more persistent form of Evard's uh, spell. Okay, uh, these roots. Uh, are they flammable? Uh, they are. Mm, very. Okay. Let's burn the place. Sounds good. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead, guys. I think that sounds like a great idea. So I got I got flame magic. Let's do it. I think we need. I think uh, we use the deal that I made with them to draw them out. We can ambush them with the army. Um, and then we could burn to cut off their retreat. We do this um, tonight. I'm not. I'm not there. I can't say anything. Darn it! All right, never mind. No. Uh, Are and, you? Uh, let me deal with you then, uh, because uh, yeah. you would actually be on your way back by now. Um, so okay. So you went. You go and you talk to your father. Did you bring the investigator second class with you in the bard? You probably did. I mean, you probably should. That probably be why. Say uh, yes. I. I did. Yes, yeah. I, I think okay. Uh, so the three of you go and speak to your father. And uh, uh, as a side note, you're, uh, even though you're certainly not happy about all the nonsense that's going on, it has given you the opportunity to interact with your dad more recently than you have been able to. Uh, you guys still haven't had the talk. Uh, but <laughs> the talk. Uh, but uh, a little you, bit different in my case. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, but you, uh, it is kind of nice to be able to talk to dad because of all the nonsense that's been going on recently. Um, uh, nevertheless, uh, of course, you get an audience with him immediately, uh, um, and uh, he says that uh, uh, you. Uh, well, go ahead. Well, for the sake of expediency, just because we have so many people and it's just to get through things. Um, so I let him, I essentially let him know what is, what is going on. If I can have something official from him that will, uh, well, cause I don't know, I haven't been to the mine, so I don't know what's going on in there, but I, I ask him for something official. Also, if he can spare any people for, uh, essentially what I think is ha going to happen in assault on the mines. And, um, also if he has any gear that I or my party can use, uh, that can assist us, I would appreciate that. So that's my, my spiel. If you want me to make a persuasion roll or whatever you no, want me to do. No, it's not necessary. Um, okay. Uh, he gives you, uh, he looks over at your brother who is sitting in the room, uh, and he 
writes uh, uh, up and uh, uses his signet ring and does all that and gives you a writ uh, uh, by the end of the conversation. Um, and your father gives you 30 militia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. So with okay. that, and we have the 20. Oh, what's up? Yeah, you got an army of 50 plus you guys. So, I mean. Yeah. You, you, That's you, plenty you, of people. You know, keep in mind, there's plenty of w- wars throughout history that weren't much bigger than that. That's a sizable force. And, they're, and they mm-hmm. are trained, particularly ra- Rabbit's group. Those are all highly trained veterans. Yeah, and Puffin, you were saying something earlier. Uh, you had a suggestion? Mm, suggestion? Oh, I was going to go um, commune with my deity. See if I could... Because uh, I know some... I know in the old days, clerics could learn... Like, got a specific spell, depending on the god they followed. If... Uh, I'm basically going there to try to see if I can learn Summon Swarm, because that might be useful. Is it within your level oh. ability? I think... Let me see. Let me let me check. Is, uh... And there's no uh, items. It's, it's the soldiers, right? So, 30 people. Yes, you don't get free shit. Sorry, Jay. Okay, I'm just seeing. No, no, just... Uh, crafty little bastard. <laughs> I had to. I had to try. I am missing Danny, though. I know. Well, she. Uh, I guess she's. She's off in a place right now where there's not good uh, signal. So, yeah. You guys will miss her arm too. Uh, mm-hmm. But she is having family problems, though. To be fair, that Mom is true. Mom is under the affliction. It's currently going on. Uh, anyway, um, someone was doing some roll or something. What's going on? Uh. Puffin was looking through his uh All right, he see what he can utilize. Uh, okay, so is, I'm going to head back to the... They we're all back in the place, right? Or okay. is there anyone else have and, anything yeah, they were yeah. doing? Now, you have the writ, but you find out that uh, there are no miners to give the writ to. Just a trap. That you a trap. Can see. Well, we got an army. Yeah. Um, it looks like the mine has been taken over by the hags. And this is where I they've s- been hiding out. Which is the perfect choice, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would I would have went to the, our meeting spot, so I would have heard this all from them or yep. my party members. That's what um, I'm just relaying it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, well, I mean, we have we have a small army on our backs. We can go in and take them I down. Agree, we don't yes. have to cower outside. You so guys do have a problem that go. has been persisting since the beginning. You are tracking them now. But the problem is the hags can simply slip, at least one of them, as they will. Uh, but the other ones can do it a certain amount of times a day. They can slip into the ethereal. This is still a problem. All right, and Larry, oh, you have no way to deal with it, though, do we? You, Who's... yeah, you. Well, Larry does, but I mean, I, I you didn't tell us, right? No. I'm trying to. Okay. Oh, no. if only we had some way to keep them from disappearing into the ethereal. <laughs> See, this is why I like to pass notes to the dungeon master if we're yeah. playing live. You can't at, do that I mean, to me. You in front of each other. Discord. Yeah. Sorry about that. You mean like I, you mean like the do you mean like the uh, private message I sent you earlier that you haven't responded to? Is that what that you, one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds I about right. You, <laughs> did I send you another one? No, hold on, I'm reading. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, the cleric. And, and please respond there. It. Yes, I will. That spell you're that spell you're looking for for cleric is divination. You don't have it yet. Oh. Uh, wait. Or, what do you mean? Where, where you where you can ask your god questions? Yeah. Oh, I'm just uh, sending the. I found an actual cantrip that does what I'm looking for, but unfortunately, it's from Xanathar's Guide to Everything, which is a five e. Uh, supplement. It's I'm fine with that. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I, th- I think it's I'm more. He didn't. The, uh, I'm sending you what it does from the the SRD. Oh, I don't really care. You it's it's not really overpowered or anything. <laughs> it's, I think I think yeah, Chester didn't want us to pick like weird, crazy races from I other books. I just wanted it to be more mundane in that regard, but otherwise, yeah. I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care what kind of. Uh, 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 powers you guys have, what kind of items you have, or what levels, or what stats. I don't care about any of that. Because I didn't want us playing bang harder than you can. He didn't I want us playing our guys. Okay, anyway. And uh, Alan's. 
I want to play the samurai you played when we played last. That was what I should have played. Yeah, Toro's could have done. Yeah, that guy was bad. Yeah, that guy was super gnarly. <laughs> broken. So All right, broken. There you go, Larry. Yeah. I sent you a response. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, it says bite me. See, I can read mine. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's so, fine, uh, Puffin. That's no problem at all. Cool. Okay. Yeah, uh, Larry, cool. if you do yeah. send me a message or sub, just give me a heads up because I am running multiple screens. No problem. I just sent you a message. Yeah. That's no correct. one's posted in 10 minutes, so I took down the That's chat. That's correct, yeah. All right. Okay. All right, so uh, let's get it going. What are you guys going to do? Mount up. All right. Well, we need to lure the lure, right? Do we want to lure them out and then ambush and, and fight them? I, I don't think letting them give them an out. If, they, if they're outside of the, outside of yeah, the yeah. mine... Then they might be able to escape. Deep down in the mine. We need we to just go, go in after them. Yeah. yeah. We, we need yeah. to. Well, we need to burn those vines as we're going. Do we have fire bombs or something? We can just kind of. You, you, you can take oil. Artificer. Your fire bomb. Honey, which is <laughs> flammable, by the way. We have fire. We have magic items and stuff. Mag yeah, even just plenty. simple magic you weapons the fire did damage need. to him. Magical fire. Oh. You got artificer fire, and yeah. we could just set honey on fire herself. <laughs> yeah, so you will be fine. That's mean. I like that. I like that idea. That's very warlike. Let's do. Let's run it. Okay. Cool. Oh, so we're we're going in. Yeah. Yes. Finally. <laughs> finally. Yay! All right. So, uh, are we going in uh, in the late afternoon? Or we got to wait till the morning. Uh, mm. Longer we wait, the stronger they'll be. No, yeah, I mean, we go. Yeah. Well, okay. the longer we wait, Who, the more chance someone's gonna die. How are, how is everyone doing on spells, and how is I'm everyone late. doing on health? I'm Can late. we try burning? I am fine. What was the question? Who took damage last time? Actually, Bill, yeah, he took a load of damage, didn't you? What's the 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 the, the elf girl? What what were you asking? Oh, um, if we like, if we throw a bunch of fire bombs and stuff in there, and then just go home and let it. Burn out? Is that a good idea? I don't think it'll reach. No, me. that that works. Yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's it, it might clear the. We the have to go room, in, but we gotta go in. Yeah. They could turn ethereal, which actually might want to hold off on burning them until we actually catch them, which um, you know, just so we have the element of surprise. Because if there's you know, if they catch back us, to luring them out um, to, with the babies. Um, I don't know what. what? <laughs> Are you using babies as bait? Yeah, well, 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 this group, dude. I don't know what to tell you. We're not going to use real babies. We're going to use gnomes. <laughs> Illusionist <laughs> magic. I could create a homunculi. I could create a homunculi. It's too. getting complicated again. I know, Rabbit. Let's try. Let's go. Let's go then. Okay. Fine. Let's just go. Let's you go really in. You want to make a well, monkey? Let's go. Amy. All right. Like so, uh, executive choice. Uh, you Does guys uh, uh, gather your forces, and uh, uh, Twilight is about an hour away, and you guys march to the front of the mine. Uh, you have uh, two main forces here. You have a force of about 20 guys, uh, which are from the Crown, and they have the livery of the Crown on them. <laughs> Uh, and, of course, they're under the command of uh, Rabbit and uh, Larry's character. Uh, and then you have uh, um, uh, 30 uh, local militia, many of which you know either as classmates or as fathers of. Uh, they're nowhere near as experienced as the veterans, however, obviously. Uh, and they are under the command of a Tater. <laughs> That's right. All right well, I so we need a marching now. order. <laughs> so what are we doing? Are we send the armies well, in I mean, first. Uh, I, I would say we need to set. We need to have some in the front, regardless with torches and weapons drawn. Yeah. Uh, I think like we should send our stealthiest people in the front as Can a I... scout. We're gonna have to burn our way down there. We can't walk past these things. Nope. Matt. There's no reason the for me to go in there whatsoever. Can we like a little flying, okay. glowing lantern or something? Matt. Like a light for the Rabbit, what's your icon? What? Is he still gone? It's the He's gone, gone. 
I'm the one playing the guitar. <laughs> yeah. Matt. He's purple. He's purple. Got it. It's okay. confusing Matt. when there's the, I don't see the full name. Sorry. Apologize for that. No, that's all right. Um, oh, I'm going to so, be sending Rabbit a, per, a uh, direct message, so that's oh, the reason okay. I'm asking. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, note, uh, note passing in this game is super easy on Discord, dude. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, can send yeah. imagery. You can send all kind of stuff. Uh, videos even. <laughs> Just make sure they're they're not they're not safe for work. Uh, okay. Right. Hey, the <laughs> map to see if sure they are that the videos are or... not safe for work. Oh, Did no. I hear that properly? <laughs> what? Or are you saying that the videos should not not be safe for work? Huh? They should not not be safe for work. I have no idea. Uh, all right. So uh, can you guys do something positive, like move yes. forward and oh. stop being a pain in my ass? No. All right. Well, we're trying to. Let's get to let. Let's okay. go to the place. Ever? How about Chester? How about this? We just go down the line, and everyone says, you know, okay, do we want to go in or do we want to try and draw them out? You have. Uh, you know what my vote right. is. You know what? Uh, all right. I don't know how you would draw them out, but all right. Let's ask. Amy, I don't know either. Do we go to war I'd, or do we be a bunch I'm, of pussies? Burn it. I've got one of those. Here we go with not you safe for work. Do later. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not that reference. It's kind of like, I won't get into wow. it. Wow. Uh, Amy, go in I'm gonna or, walk or, up to or this try to be and just start uh, lighting to it on use fire. subterfuge. Subterfuge? Does that mean burning the plants? No, that means tricking yeah, them out. Go in, or, in, go in or don't go in. Yes or no? The winner for indoor bring cat or an outdoor cat. I have. I'll take uh, that as a go in. Uh, Bill, like yep. I'm a go. Can I? Go, so ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Come no, on, Amy. Go okay, ahead. Quick, quick, quick. I... Okay. I can make um, a child homunculus to maybe draw. Uh, if they're expecting children's sacrifice, they'd be come out and be distracted by the child. That might give you a surprise attack or something. Uh, probably not. Uh, but uh, that's not no. the question <laughs> at hand. Uh, and I'm starting with Amy, and I'll get to you in a minute, honey. Uh, Amy, okay. go in or not go in? Um, uh, I would probably think it's a better idea to burn the stuff. Okay, or so not to... go in. Bill. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. Let's burn right. it on the way. Uh, uh, lady. Yeah. Rabbit, check your messages. Checking I the am map. On Referencing if there's any uh, little X's floating around in, on it, like invisible uh, like people. I, same as before, you see little blurs. Okay, I'm go, going going in. Okay, uh, uh, Bob, uh, in, right? Uh, GOP, going in, going in and in. burn the shit out of it. Okay, good. That's a that's a majority already. Fine, we're going in. So the only I'm taking the lead, and we're going in. All right, good. <laughs> Let's just Thank go. You very much, Rabbit. Uh, so uh, you guys go in now. The only question is. Uh, are you interspersed with the the, the army, or are they behind, uh, bringing up the rear? We need meat shields. I mean, you don't know to have them amongst us, but uh, I mean, they're not charge, like right? us, right? I know. I'm just trying to think. Would be the best way. Well, we don't want all the the. In, the uh, yeah, we'll take them. We don't need them all with us, though. I don't think, do we? Some of them meat have meat shields. Yeah. Does we'll anyone have a? Does anyone have a glamour? Uh, or any other spell that will transform your um, appearance? Nope. Uh, there's simple spells that we can do that at, at our level, but nothing that's really going to be like. So, okay. I think so none of you things. can. None of you can appear as a hag. I have a hood that I can yeah, pull over my head. That would work be on that anyway. Over. I get your idea, yeah, but it won't. On that. Right. We, we, yeah. we, we, we'll lead the way. Okay. I'll lead the way. So, we'll have the people, we'll have the army with us, behind us. All right. And you know, let's say like you lead, I'm leading uh, you the lead army. ten of the militia out front. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay. you guys come in, and of course you see uh, what I had described earlier. Uh, this is a large chamber where they basically have a lot of extra machinery. They do repairs. There's storage here. Uh, of course, most of it now is overgrown with these arriving brambles. Uh, and the walls are slick with some manner of viscera. Uh, and like I said, there are motes of lichen popping out here and there producing light. But of course, everyone here except for uh, Rabbit and uh, the army can see in the dark anyway. But there are plenty of torches because we know those are useful. Uh, now, mm. as you guys come in, 
uh, of course, is of a large moving group. Uh, you see, <clears throat> uh, uh, dropping off of the wall, uh, uh, you see a bunch of dwarfs uh, that are shambling toward you. Uh, these are Dural Durvan, uh, but uh, that doesn't mean anything to you, but the undead zombie dwarves uh, that are uh, 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 you know, shambling toward the group. Uh, the veterans, of course, brace themselves, and you guys uh, get ready. Uh, there are more of them than you've seen it. before, uh, but uh, you are uh, definitely have a large number of zombies coming at you. Uh, now, in the distance, you do see that there is um, a tunnel that, uh, let's just assume we're coming in from the south here, and because um, we are. Uh, up in the very north, there's a large... Uh, tunnel opening. Uh, you don't know what it goes to. And off to the west or southwest, there is another tunnel that uh, you can tell uh, is actually declining. Uh, nevertheless, to, okay. uh, you guys move into this room, uh, and the soldiers are just waiting for your release, Rabbit. Have I'm charge? I don't know. Uh, hang on. Oh, I was, uh, sorry. I was looking for my dice for a second. We don't need them. No. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I guess we're combat? Combat? Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to roll initiative. I, I don't know what their... Uh... Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, it's too late. I was going to say... <laughs> All right. So... Check, your mes- check your message, Rabbit. All right. Yeah, I was going to say yes, but they started already. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> All right, Break. so... Um... Keep in mind, Larry, all you do is uh, roll a 20-sider and add your dexterity bonus. That's how you get your initiative, okay? Oh, now, right. uh, okay. Am I doing this digitally? Because I actually have my dice right in front of me. You know, we're doing it digitally. I know I have to, but they do it digitally, yeah. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's the dice room. When you click on the d20, there's like a plus one next to it. You can like keep adding it or whatever. Uh, and also, we should be I got clearing 10, the dice. Yeah, so uh, go ahead, guys. 18. I'm I got a 11. Clear. I got a 12. Right, so, D 20 plus 1. Oh. Roll. I got Why? 20. <laughs> Natural? Dick. No, no, why, no, Why'd you roll 2? <laughs> uh-huh. No, I rolled... No, oh, 2 D 20. Did that what I rolled? I thought yeah, I rolled... Yeah, 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 you rolled 2 of them. Yeah, you rolled I'll do it again. Sorry. And it added them together. Yeah. That's, there you go. That's that makes good. more sense. That's 15. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm assuming everyone is uh, before me. I would assume these are zombies. Mm-hmm. How has he got plus ten on Dex? That's nuts. He, he is a uh, um, dexterity based character. Yep. I, uh, I'm not. Oh, that's right. Everyone is overpowered, aren't they? That's right, except for me. <laughs> oh, I'm What's not up, I, I got a three on initiative. I'm right there with you, Rabbit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. let's just go from the top, um, and uh, uh, the soldiers rush in, uh, and they clash in with the zombies, and honestly, the soldiers are handling the zombies quite well. Uh, the problem is, as the soldiers go in and, and, and drop, and you guys do your action, uh, after uh, uh, they drop these zombies, they stand right back up. Uh, and uh, as the zombies get dropped, the walls of this place scream. Cool. So, uh, I guess uh, Amy is first in line. So, Amy, what are you going to do against this zombie horde that is uh, uh, being pressed against you? Um, I mean, we're fighting, right? Yes. Yeah. And the okay. wolves are screaming. <sighs> All right. So. Try the wolves. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. No, I need to clear that. Okay, and then a uh, roll, and uh, mm, mm, mm. okay. Uh, just, you a- hit. You uh, you hit. These things have a ten armor class. They're very easy to hit. They have no oh, armor okay. whatsoever, uh, and no dexterity. So uh, go ahead and do your damage. Okay, I will roll. Uh, I think it's a, where is it? D8 plus your strength. There it is. Oh no, that's not right. D8 plus five. D8 plus 
thing. And all right, um, uh, you hack into one of the zombies very strongly, and you miss dropping it by one point. Uh, but uh, you definitely uh, uh, injured it very strongly. Um, uh, go ahead, Bill. Okay, so the bambles on the wall you said were screaming, or just the echoes throughout the no, bramble? in I'm this sorry, main to... chamber. Every time yes, a zombie sir. drops, and some of these uh, soldiers are dropping one shotting these things. Uh, but mm -hmm. as soon as they drop, uh, they drop them. Uh, they stand back up, and as they stand, the walls scream. The walls scream. The brambles. Yeah, the brambles. The brambles scream. Tree okay. Um, so one thing I would have done, uh, or what I do is, I have a uh, water skin full of oil mm -hmm. for lanterns, and I'm going to use my speed to run past and spray these uh, brambles so that they're more flammable for a fire wielding spellcaster or i oh, can no problem uh we'll say actually i could also yeah go ahead. Well, you're able to uh you're able to douse the eastern wall of this room uh and taking your full round to do so uh dodging uh, with your agility dodging any uh, uh zombie next to you is quite easy these things are literally shambling uh so uh let's see here who's after bill uh, we and Chester, have... re yeah. read your messages when you get the chance. Okay. Uh, lady, go ahead. Um, thinking something else is going on here. I'm going to detect magic on the uh, one of the zombie guys. It's got to be within 30 feet of myself. Uh, I'm sorry, say that again? On the, the spell detect magic, you got, i got to be within 30 feet of whatever I'm trying to detect magic on. Well, you're certainly within 30 feet of a zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, I'm guessing you're casting it as an action then? All right. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, a, a, not using not a ritual. Sure yeah. Why she's casting it, but of course they're magic. No. They're zombies. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> All right. All zombies are magical. We'll see. That's something I didn't know. Well, okay. There you go. Well, live and learn, right? Uh, let me yeah. see here from Larry. Yeah. Uh, Ignore that comment about bumping the wall. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah, hold on a second. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what you're doing. Uh, yeah, no, you can do whatever you want, dude. That's all cinematic anyway. Okay, cool. Everybody, you hear a wonderful tune behind you that makes you feel so <laughs> exhilarated to fight these zombies it takes a little bit of the gloom away and brightens your... Starry night. Huzzah. Oh, so nice. Huzzah. So you guys get, uh, I think it's what, plus one to their rolls, right? Uh, is it an inspiration? Is that what he's doing, or what is he doing? Of course it is. Oh, I think that's a D, I want to say a D6, but I'd have to have they to look. a D6, okay, fine. Uh, uh, so uh, the bard begins singing, and uh, um, he does it uh, in a fumbling <laughs> uh, lady. Already went. Oh, that's right. Bob. Uh, how many of these things we got? A lot. A lot. Do I add okay. the D6 to my previous roll? Or no. is that... Yeah, you'll that... do that okay. next time. Next I think okay. it's... You, you can use a D6, it. but I think you use it up when you use it. Oh, okay. okay. So it's, you can hold on to All it right. and have that for... A... Bob? Yep. I'm going to, well, I'm not going to waste a big spell on these guys, so I'll hit uh, one of them with a firebolt. You got to hit one of them, or you got to hit the eastern wall? Hit the wall. The so wall. It's been the wall. The yeah. wall. <laughs> actually, you know what? You know, since it's the wall, yeah, I'll just, I'll use, uh, I'll actually use a big spell on it. I'm going to hit it with a uh, scorching uh, ray. DM advice, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Then my, I'll just use firebolt then. Uh, you let your firebolt go. Uh, it hits wherever on the wall. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it ignites uh, the oil that uh, Bill had already prepared for you. And the entire eastern wall very quickly is in an extreme conflagration. Uh, and the brambles are screaming. 
uh, you see uh, uh, about a quarter of the zombies fall. <laughs> Zombie. Good times. GOP. Yeah, I love it when okay, so well, are these... Do these I've pineapples got a, look can I, like... Can I drop in a comment real quick? No. Uh, GOP, go. Okay. Yes. Okay, do these brambles look like the same ones that we saw in the uh, in Iron Identical. Outfitters? Yes. Okay, so I, I can't touch them um, because I don't have any fire spells. So uh, I guess I'm just going to keep firing at the zombies for now because I'll, I'll let one of our fire caster people handle the, the walls because I can't touch them. So, all right. What? Would we have torches or something? Would uh, that work? If they could oil on, yeah. Them? We, you guys know there. You guys specifically know more than the other two uh, mm -hmm. that uh, they, these brambles are extremely flammable. Uh, I I tell them, yeah, yeah. Use you know, a lot of attacks won't work on them. Use fire. So, and I'm going to just blast one of the zombies because only that's what I can someone do. had said that before. Oh, where right. I'm pretty oh, wait, sure. Yeah. Uh, we already said this. Uh, go ahead, GOP. Uh, yeah, no. Do, do well, your I mean, move. other things won't work on them at all. But yeah. Yeah, go ahead, do your thing. Come on now. I am uh, non-natural twenty that hits, and of course, I'm using my um my hex. So sure. that's uh, D6, D10 right. plus five. Very hexy, man. B all right, thirteen takes him out, but I mean, I'm sure he comes yeah, back drops. up. Uh, Larry, what were you trying to say? What was your comment? I just wanted to. I just wanted to say that zombie fight. We're striking zombie dwarves all through the night. So everybody hears that while they're fighting. Okay, that's um, that's okay. not a statement. <laughs> it's kind of a statement. It's, it's, a it's, statement. it's exactly a statement. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It's a, it's I'm just trying to play the character properly. No, you are, uh, honey. Uh, what do you got to do now? Honey can actually deal with these things. Uh, go ahead. Okay, my only I guess the only question is, do I use my flamethrower or do I throw grease on the walls and then use flamethrower? Mm. I think the flamethrower counts as an extra action, so I could Ooh. throw grease on the wall and then flamethrower. Well, then in one turn. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. You know, she has an she has an action like that. Awesome. Cool. Okay, That's here we exactly go. That's exactly what you should do, honey. Yes. That is a good <laughs> plan. A good Just plan. Just don't fumble. Just don't fumble. <laughs> okay, I'm setting my spells to grease. Well, the grease goes and off. Uh, we need to hit with the uh, fire attack. I think we have to. Okay. I made a 14 on grease. Does that work? Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, what happens is you, you, you pull off your thing, and the thing engulfs in this huge fire. Uh, on the now we're on the western wall, uh, and uh, as these things are screaming in pain, these rambles, uh, you see another quarter of the zombies drop. Uh, let's see here, rabbit. He just muted himself. He did. Yeah, he is muted because he uh, was messing with some papers. I will come back to him in a second. Then uh, puffin. I'm here. Sorry. Oh, okay, go ahead. I go after the zombies. Yes. I was going to withhold my action anyway. Um, <laughs> right, yeah, that's hold fine. My action, you are but... directing the men. That's fine. Uh, Puffin? Yeah. Uh, Puffin rolled after. So Puffin goes after you. Um, yeah, I go after zombies. Oh, okay. Well, um, uh, there's so so much chaos going on here. Uh, half of the zombies have already dropped on the ground, lifeless. Uh, the veteran soldiers and some of the militia are involved. This is a pretty easy fight for these guys, so we haven't actually lost any men, although there's probably uh, one or two of them take a nick. Uh, uh, but uh, none of you actually get engaged directly because the military are doing their job, uh, and they're looking out for you. Uh, so my round basically goes toward the military, and it has very little effect. Uh, however, it does bring us to the top of the round, uh, and I'm assuming, seeing as... You guys have seen how effective oiling or greasing the walls and burning them is uh, that you are able to dispatch the zombies in this round um, uh, pretty easily between Honey and, uh, uh, and of course, Bob and uh, uh, Bill doing their thing. Uh, so uh, the walls are on fire. They're smoldering. Uh, there are about 30 dead dwarfs on the ground. Now... Uh, it looks like they've been dead for a while, weeks even. 
Mm. Um, and uh, their skin is uh, gray and pallid uh, with uh, various uh, uh, forms of rot and and uh, uh, and chewing upon their bodies has already taken place. And of course, their veins are bulging black from the magic that had been coursing through them. Uh, but they are surely dead. Uh, various of the uh, uh, soldiers are pushing them over with spears and taking a look to see. Uh, and uh, these just look like standard dwarven miners. And like I said, there's about 30 of them. Uh, this this uh, uh, battle isn't wasn't really about uh, difficulty. It was about playing it smart, which you did. Uh, so uh, you're sitting in this room. The smoke is billowing beyond, past you going out uh, of the uh, entrance you came in. But uh, luckily, the vaulted ceiling here is enough that the smoke is not in your eyes, as it were. Uh, but it is brightly lit. That's for damn sure. Uh, and you have options as you look at the carnage in front of you. Uh, to the north, there is a large opening into a chamber beyond. Uh, the light in the room is too much to see what is in that. Beyond that, it, it's it's all <clears throat> darker than it would be because of the brightness. Uh, and, of course, off to the southwest is a tunnel that is descending, uh, which you would assume is going into the mine. Uh, but, of course, you don't know. Uh, that is the situation. The zombies have been dealt with, uh, and uh, it is a site of carnage, and it's certainly not a happy one. Because as grumpy as dwarves might be, there's people are still people. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Can um, I perform rites for oh, them? Sorry. Say it again. Can I perform rites for them? Of course you can. Uh, and the cleric would be doing it too if he were an actual cleric. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, They're here's a question. I'm a pure-blooded elf. <laughs> it's true. Well, that is uh, fair. That is fair. I'll give you. I'm a, I'm playing a I'm I'm playing a quiet dirge. Oh, that's thank nice. you. All right, so uh, uh, checking them for you... gold and jewels. Uh, so I no, look no. over to Amy. Uh, so um, when the hag came in this uh came in this place, which direction did it turn once it came inside? Let me see. Okay, let me see. I pull up the map and see if there's any kind of a trace on it or to see where it went and what that would look like compared to the room that we're in. Because <sighs> um, I thought she was keeping an eye on where she was going, so I figured if... Well, you do have the map, and uh, below you, because uh, you guys are standing in that spot, and the map is perfectly on this room, uh, mm -hmm. below you you do see uh, a, a blurry image of the hag moving back and forth. Uh, uh, like I said, you don't see it constantly, but it's still there. I mean, that solves it, right? Down. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. Well, I guess um, we're heading. Deeper. Now, how many? How many hags are there? You don't. Three. Know. I don't know. Well, we you we think know. there's three. You would assume it's three. Yeah. Because we dealt with three of their. They can only have one, as far as we know, only have one minion up at a time, and there was three of them that we mm -hmm. faced in the Touching. past. There so there could be more. So we're only we're only seeing one right now. But coven yeah, consists of three, one. seven, and thirteen. Um, so <laughs> the seven uh, six now one uh, one of the uh, um, uh, the crown guards uh, does call out, uh, and he's up in that northern room, and uh, several guards go over and join him, and um, I'm assuming one of you goes to see what they're they're on about, probably rabbit. Mm -hmm. And uh, rabbit, you see in this room following uh, rabbit. Uh, there mm. are bodies stacked all around this fairly large storage room. Uh, they're mm -hmm. draped over, uh, 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 you know, uh, large uh, barrels and uh, uh, containers. Uh, and the only thing it strikes you, other than all the death in this room, is that hardly any of them are dwarves. Most of them oh. are actually green elves. What's a green elf? Wild oh, elves. Yeah. Nothing of value wild the wild, the wild elves. They're not part of this kingdom at all. Uh, I've never heard of them before. Uh, yes, they are. No, you wouldn't have. That's true. What's the yeah. ones out in the forest then? That's them. Right. That's yeah. them. The Either wild they've elves. been feeding on them, or using them with for magic. We uh, don't but uh, know. the carnage in this room, Rabbit, and anyone who is with him is pretty severe. Uh, you haven't you, you haven't counted one by one, but 
there could be a hundred bodies in this room, dude. Did it look like they they died from f like f fighting, or did it look like they're just dead? Role. You are oh, yeah. the investigator. Okay, that's, that's, you are. I, I have the skill and everything. Hang on. Uh, um, where is it? I uh, also uh, All right, it's so a plus two. Okay, hang on. Right, so it's a d20 plus my plus, right? You're being a modifier. Oh, well, that's not a very really good roll, but whatever. It's ten. Okay, roll okay. it again. Uh, well, um, uh, it's uh, it's enough to do what you need, though. I mean, if you wanted more information, you'd have to spend more time here. Uh, but as you're looking at the bodies, and you're an investigator, you've done this before. Uh, you notice uh, one similarity comes uh, to you from all of the bodies, uh, they, and you have studied this at, at Academy. Uh, they all seem to be have uh, seem to have been drained by a vampire. Oh, oh that sounds great! Big vampires now. <laughs> no. I, don't, I mean, if I can be, can become one, maybe. And these you rise up and kill us. Mm -hmm. I ask. It's our characters the from the first game. Just ran. Work in D and D. I know, but I just asked the investigator because that's what's been happening in town. I don't fight vampires. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think any of these five dice. vampires. <laughs> I hope it's one of the ones that just really loves to count. That's, that's <laughs> my desire here. God damn it. Or, 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 we don't want to do this. Okay. Cool. A rabbit. Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to make a suggestion, but you're my superior. Uh sure. Don't we think we want to be safe and cut the, cut these elves heads off? Well, you could bring How many uh, did you... uh, arcane in to take a look at it. You could do further yeah, investigation this, we, we... Uh, You do have people I here mean, with knowledge. One of them is a yeah, we, gnome, by the way. We should we should probably check out that. I don't know the, the right. way magic I'm works, but if... Investigate the bodies. I got yeah, it. investigate I got the bodies, it. whether we need to set them on fire or whatever. I mean, there's a... Yes. Freaking... Yeah, okay, if we yeah, need to, yes. I can hit um, the bodies with sacred flame so they take holy damage. Oh, that's yeah, there's that that this option as well. Yeah, that is good. Uh, but uh, the uh, the the wizard uh, uh, is investigating the bodies, and uh, you uh, 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 from your arcane roll. What, what did you get, by the way? Seventeen. Okay. No. Wait. No problem. Okay. Um, you know uh, that these are failed vampire spawn. Yeah. Failed. Now you know that uh, uh, based on uh, the basic per with that role with basic percentages, uh, if they were trying to make vampire spawn with this number, that means that uh, you know there could be they could have been successful 20% of the time uh, if they were doing it correctly, and you don't know if they were. Uh, so 20% uh, of this number would be 20. Yeah. So 20. that explains why they came to the mine. They built that they're building an, a vampire army. So there's probably it. I'd say probably between fifteen and twenty, maybe a few more, plus the hags. So yeah, uh, clerics. That's uh, that's on you. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Let me correct you there, uh, Bob. Cleric. Hmm. All right. Call your just, friends. Well, at least we don't have to worry about these, so we can move on. I don't care how many there are. We'll kill them all regardless. Uh, you go. Tater's getting up in his... Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm just going to... Seriously, gonna you go all the body with the yeah. sacred flame cantrip, because I can use it any number of times and just burn the bodies. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I don't know if you want to start more fire in this room, but go ahead. <laughs> I would, I would have, I would have some of our uh, our uh, manual labor here. Drag them outside and do it there. Yeah, that's. I, I think they're they're not going to get up and kill us. So we're fine. No, these we are can failed. deal with that later. <laughs> we'll these deal with them later. We'll, we'll move on these now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in D and D, uh, uh, it isn't like in the movies. Uh, not every uh, person bit is, uh, rises up. Uh, they do have better ways of doing it. Uh, but uh, uh, and if it were if you were dealing with a <clears throat> actual vampire, the bounty's here. Uh, the other bounty carriers are here. Uh, then uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, but um, uh, you, they would be able to do it as they will. But clearly, you're uh, that's not what's happening. Uh, but no. uh, it is an automatic here. 
Anyway, uh, you do have more information, uh, and uh, the army is milling around. What are you guys going to do? Move on. We've got to go down, yep. right? We need to Deeper just go mind. for it. Let's keep do you carry guys on. Take the lead, or does the army take the lead? No, I mean I we'll take we the lead like before. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you guys head down the tunnel, and um, this tunnel uh, is uh, uh, the brambles are, are kind of slightly smoldering. Good one. Went, One's running to the right. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that, Puffin? Puffin. I'm I am going to. Uh, Protect the rear, you know, make sure nothing sneaks in on us. Oh, that's fine. Um, uh, but the brambles stop after a very short distance, and as you're heading down the tunnel, uh, it, it's as it was hewn. Um, and uh, you come to an area after about well, 100 meters of slight decline, uh, and uh, you see there is a uh, vaulted uh, uh, room here that is going more off to the west. Uh, and there are uh, a wooden scaffolding leading down. Um, and as you guys head down deeper into the mine, uh, you guys come to the uh, bottom and you have a choice. You can either continue on to the west uh, or you can go north. Uh, to the north, very close, so those, you got lanterns and stuff, so you can see. Uh, you see there is a large wooden iron-bound door uh, and to the west is just simply a hewn tunnel going off into the darkness. Hmm. Anything glowing uh, in here? Uh, there, there is lichen on the walls. Uh, this is very reminiscent for the uh, party who was here from the beginning. Uh, this looks very much like the Underdark area you had dealt with before. But we do know that this area around Iron Pass and the uh, and the Iron Root Mountains here uh, seem to be connected to the Underdark in a very shallow manner. We've already established that. Okay. Um, there's a door to the north. There's a door to the so, north and a hallway to the west. Yeah. We should, should go I north, I think. But... Yes. Go ahead. That's not Imagine a bad idea. Check them out. If the door is in a chance, if the door was in, if the hag couldn't access the door, maybe there's like some dwarven survivors on the other side that we can help. Now that we've cleared out the entrance, you can it's help been too anywhere. long. There won't be any survivors. Oh, you don't well, know that. Um, we don't know for uh, certain. But, uh, Vamp Fine. Vampires got to eat. North or west. How far away is the door from here? Could you go over and listen at the door, or sure. is that absolutely? I'll okay. just go north and check I'll, I'll that way the, first. I'll send the rat right. over to the door. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. The rat goes over to the door. Uh, the rat is small enough that it could actually, uh, there's actually a chink underneath. in the side of the door, and it could actually get into the room if you'd like. I'll have him peek in. Okay. Uh, the rat uh, looks, and in this... Uh, by, beyond this door is another storage room, kind of similar to upstairs. I mean, they are miners, right? Uh, sure. And, and this is a pretty large room. There's a lot of broken equipment, some storage containers and stuff. But the thing that really catches your eye is sitting in the middle of the room, uh, there are less than 30 shambling individuals. Uh, they're all elven. Yeah. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> are they green elves or are they just... It, it's a rat. Um... <laughs> well, I can I can see through his eyes, so. Do not um, see in uh, color. I don't like know. The ones that you, you investigated. Uh, yeah, and, and I... their their features and their shamblingness is different than the uh, the Dvergar you were dealing with. Right. Yeah. Oh. They're in. They're in there. So they go the other way, right? I mean, I mean, we didn't want to leave them as like to be able to come out behind us. If they... I know that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, how many did you say there was? We can't see, or probably, just a few. Upwards probably of 30. Uh, now, oh, that's a lot. Uh, there are several There's a lot of us there. Party who know what a vampire spawn is, and uh, yeah. you would lose your entire army if you open that door. Yeah. Let's not open the door. Anyway, yeah, so let's yeah, um, there... sneak oh, off the way. Well, just oh. for mechanical aspects, that is about a DC 50. Uh, excuse me, that's a CR 15. Yeah, yeah. It's a um, little high for us. Uh, we have a druid in the party, right? You do. Mm -hmm. Uh, the druid. Uh, do you have stone shape? 
Can you can you do something to block this door? To make sure that it's locked, lady. Um, I'm looking. No, no, like like if we can seal this thing. I'm not for I'm I'm looking to see what level it is. Cause I can't. I can move dark. Spike it shut. Yeah, yeah, you guys could do it manually. That's true. Well, not I'm a also bad thinking idea. The, the, yeah, the, I mean, uh, vampire spawn uh, aren't as strong as vampires, but they're still pretty strong. Well, they're uh, a single yeah. vampire spawn in CR five, which is what you. Can it start. is. It is a fourth level spell, and I do not have one. Oh, I see. Uh, but spiking okay. it or doing something like that would be a good idea. Uh, making right. sure that that door can't yeah. open. Uh, without your yep. say so would be a very very smart move. Okay, right, sir, so if the door turned our way, uh, if the it door, opened our the way, door, uh, uh, the door opens oh. out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if we uh, spike there... it, they won't be able to open it. I'll spike it using right. stealth. <laughs> well, it's well, not like they wouldn't have heard them battle anyways, right? If they, if they cared to. So. Yeah. Let's make sure right. the door shut. Well, the grab spike off of my inventory. All right. And I mean, the army would have things like this as well, right? Oh, but good. You could simply put them to sealing the door, to be fair. They, they okay. can get, get the, it done. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. And then we can, we can carry on down the other hallway. Yeah. Tell them to stack as much stuff in front of it as they possibly can. All right. So uh, how many uh, of your uh, of your army of uh, you have 40 with you? Uh, how many of them do you put toward uh, securing the door? Oh, we I shouldn't take that many, right? Yeah. You shouldn't. Five? Okay. Five, I'd say uh, four or five, yeah. Yeah, so five, they're I'd working and they, they'll get it, uh, you know, especially your men, uh, because they're more of the Romanesque uh, moving army type, uh, and they, they, they do these kind of things every day. Uh, all right, so uh, they're securing it. The, the rest of you continue uh, off to the west. Uh, now, as you guys are heading down the tunnel, and you have, the, of course, it's well lit up with everybody, um, uh, the tunnel comes to an abrupt stop, uh, and there's another set of scaffolding uh, that is heading uh, straight down. Uh, however, I do have uh, at least one rogue in the party, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Does anybody else have any kind of spot secret stuff? The bard might. I think um, elves can passively in hurt. My character from childhood would always just, uh, you know, kick GOP down dark holes and wait for him to scream. That's fair. Uh, but that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, elves in the earlier editions could passively see that. I don't think they can anymore. No, they, they I do can't believe anymore, the elves no. have been nerfed. They had a yeah. two in six chance to find secret doors. They used to. Yeah. The only thing I can well, do is I, I can detect magic. That's it. I've, and yeah, I've got, do, yeah. I can yeah, do a pass without trace, but <laughs> no, I'd rather right. save no, that. It, rather it, save the second to level spell yeah, yeah, no, for battles. I, I was right from the beginning. Uh, Bill and uh, Larry, give me a roll. Uh, DC sixteen. Okay. Okay. And I'll just add a proficiency to it. I suppose. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Whatever you. Oh, whatever you got. I can use a. Like, Your inspiration. Like, uh, Larry, what is your uh, what is your wisdom and level? guidance? Larry, Larry, Larry is gone. We've lost Larry. He's fallen into the abyss. Oh, I'm here. Okay, uh, Larry, give us a uh, uh, a DC. Uh, 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 it's a DC 16. So you're rolling a 20 sider. You're adding your wisdom. And you're adding uh, plus two proficiency. So okay. whatever your wisdom plus another two, make a D20 roll, please. Kester, you're going to need to do that for me because I don't know how to use this digital dice yet. Okay. Uh, well, are you there? Is that cool? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So just go to the bottom of the page. You're going to see a bunch of dice. Pick the 20-sider uh, and roll it. Bottom of the page. 21. Have you another know link um, for it? Uh, I don't have a link. How oh, we, we posted it in the. There you go. In the so chat, the chat. The okay, got it. It should Thank say you. dddice.com. Got it. I'm there. Okay. Awesome. Bottom of the page, you're going to see like, the D20 is really small. Uh, uh, Puffin, by the way. 
All right. Bottom of the page, B's D20. Cool. Yeah, B's D20. You click that. And then you can do you can uh, the plus one there. You can add modifiers to it if you need. Yep. You would, uh, I don't know what your wisdom is, but it's going to be Maybe. that plus two. So. Is, is the wisdom one of the stats that I rolled, yes? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I want to be sure. I want to get this right. Everybody bear with me because I this is the first time I played D&D yeah. online. Well, uh, maybe we should help him uh, with his character creation no and stuff. So uh, we can do that later. 18. Uh, uh, 18. No, okay. no problem. No problem. A, 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 18 uh, is my, to my, my, my stat for wisdom. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so it's uh, a plus four. So plus six. So roll D20 plus six, please. Uh, okay. My stat for wisdom is 17 plus a six. So plus three. So therefore plus two. Plus so six. plus five. So D, uh, roll a 20 cider plus five. Go ahead. Okay, 15. 18. Okay, good. Uh, Bill, what'd you get? 18. 21. Oh, no problem. Okay. Uh, as everyone is, uh, the, you've got a large retinue of people. And it's a pretty big hallway right now, uh, and as is the scaffolding, so it's not really, you're not very pressed. Uh, but every, as everyone's kind of filing down this uh, stairwell, going down to below to, to interact with these evil fiends, uh, you, the bard and uh, the badger look at each other, uh, and you notice that on the wall uh, opposite the stairwell, there is a secret door. Secret door, secret door. It's, uh, I I uh I call to uh what's his name Sauron secret to secret secret to secret to Sauron I could be Sauron Sauron <laughs> that would be, be winning then yeah Sauron yes. look what All right. your lieutenant and I have found and all right we find so, a secret okay. Oh, him. Can you... Soren, Soren, are you going to open the door? No, can can he be open? Is it something you can open? Yeah, is it, of is course. Is it trapped? Is it, you know... Well, I don't know. that would be the rogue's uh, duty to get involved with that, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Let I mean, me see. Find if it's I'll trapped. wait for that. <laughs> One moment, please. Do, do, do. Come on. Yep. All right, there. I had to get back to the right screen. Oh, I see what I'm you're saying, Puffin. Yeah, sure. Why not? There's no reason not. You guys had all afternoon, uh, Puffin. Slide a hand. Yep. Okay, so that's this, yep. this, and this. And we have guidance going. Is that right? I mean, if somebody wants to put it up, it's it doesn't cost anything, so you might as well. Well, if it doesn't cost you know. anything, it would be up, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, go ahead. That's okay. a D4 extra, I think. That is a D4. Indeed. That's a good thing. 13. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. Amy, you check your messages. All right. So also, you didn't use your inspiration, too. Cool. So. Oh, yeah. No, no. no that's, not, that's not a problem, Puffin. Uh, I'm not doing that. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, so 13. Um, uh, you are uh, going about trying to you know, figure out how to get this thing open, uh, and uh, you uh, uh, need to give me a dexterity save, please. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, sucks. And uh, clear the clear the dice if you if you can when you're done. It, sure. Whenever you're done rolling your dice, you should hit hey, the little I'll take care pick up my I'll dice button. Yeah. I Typing. can do it. I can. I'm the boss. I can override it. Yeah. Tippity type type. Clack clack clack. And who's doing all the typing? That rabbit. Amy, uh, Amy, you saw that message, right? Twenty-one. Nice. Dungeon master. All right. Uh, a small, very small, hard to even perceive dart flies from the uh, uh, left to right side of this door. You are able to get the door to, as, as, it, as this happens, it does impress into the wall about uh, three inches. Uh, and out of a, a hole, uh, a dart bangs into the other side of the rock uh, and misses you. So you don't die instantly. This is good. Um, you can continue trying to pick this lock. Ooh. So I need to pick it, roll another uh, slide of hand. need another one and not suck as bad. Yeah. I shall try. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's to not sucking. All right, oh, that, that is better. Nineteen. Better. That is better. Uh, much yeah. better. It's a. Uh, it's more than you need. A matter of fact, uh, you're able to. Uh, you see, there's actually a couple more of these darts, and you're able to disarm them. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but that's all right. You got an entire army going down a stairwell, so you have a little bit of time. Uh, and you do are able to eventually get this door to open. As the door opens, you see magical glow lights turn on. Uh, and this is a very large room, about the size of a basketball court. Uh, and as you look into the room, uh, it is absolutely packed uh, with ore uh, and various kinds of ore. Iron ores. Uh, there's even some uh, casks of silver or maybe potentially platinum and gold uh and uh you also see that there are several uh strange unidentified uh uh items artifact type things covered in you know dirt and rock and age sitting on a table right near the front uh but this seem you seem to have found uh the uh, uh the vault treasure room uh, oh well, boy. more than certain that no one else needs to know about this bard, and as well, well, rabbits with you too. As oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> we all yeah. saw you doing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, guys, I was gonna say we're I'm all there. Cast, I'm casting my the spell of forgetfulness, and it's it's a right <laughs> hook. No, I don't um, think you got that spell, buddy. Hold up. I think um, I think there will be some things in here that can help us. This, yes, this is tall what I meant people, to say. tall people, night well, hags are weak to silver and iron. They are. That is true. Or cold iron, which is not iron. Um, uh, cold but, iron. Uh, uh, but uh, nevertheless, um, this is basic. It's mainly iron ore uh, and uh, various other detrius that they can uh, uh, they can sell. But this is just their their holding vault for, you know, it's their it's their their hoard, right? They well, are on the table. Hoard. On the road. Well, on the table, on the table. There are seven yeah. items. What's that are covered in dirt and and grime from ages. They literally look like they dug them out of a wall. Cool. Wow. Um, I will Can cast I detect use... magic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's all right, Bob. Uh, the magic just bl uh, smashes you in the head. <laughs> They're all magical, uh, okay. excessively so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we should just the, take what the the young lady trying to say. Can I try and like uh, investigate the items to see if I can find out more information about them? You could, but that would take time, and you guys are in the middle of something. Yeah, we need to. We need to carry on, really. Does anything look take like them out? Are they big or small? Of war. Uh, they're all. Uh, they're all uh, various uh, items. Uh, I haven't rolled them, but they're all would, basically travel items. Can I make items. an investigate real fast to see if I could recognize perhaps adamantine? Uh, can we just take? No, you don't. No, you don't have that kind what? of time, guys. We uh, take take the items right. and carry on. <laughs> that, that would be the simplest. I can ide I can identify them later. Yes. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Honey can too. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the 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 grumpy gnome and the uh, uh, the effervescent uh, effervescent honey can deal with that later. Uh, so, <laughs> but then again, uh, there is a thought that comes into the uh, devil worshippers' mind. Um, <laughs> Uh, seeing as you are a noble and you do have certain responsibilities to the state, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the only way that you guys could claim any of this stuff is if every dwarf is dead. You know this, right? Well, I mean, they probably are. Well, if they're we not, can't, we'll let's they... hope. If any of the dwarves are still alive, we can't claim this. It's the law, unfortunately. That's unfortunate okay. that they all died. Well... It is very unfortunate that you have to keep walking down the hallway there, Tater. <laughs> let's, let's just carry on. Beef and love. So, you guys uh, leave, uh, end up I'll uh, leave uh, laugh. bringing up the back uh, uh, with the army. Uh, and you guys are uh, down at the lower le lowest level of the mine. Uh, and this is actually where all the mining is taking place. Uh, there is a very large room down here. There are many, many shafts going down uh, with various... Uh, um, you know, pulley-based uh, 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 lifts or elevators uh, used to go into the shafts where they're being dug. Uh, there's 
at least you know two dozen of these mine shafts uh, around this uh, you know once again it's around the size of the basketball court size room uh, and uh, this is where the main day-to-day uh, -day work of the mine is obviously taking place um, now uh, the shafts are you know who knows what kind of tunnels are below and stuff like that uh, but the one thing that uh, definitely catches your eye uh, in the far end of the room which would be to the east uh, you see a, uh, uh, a series of doors. Uh, now, these doors are not vaulted. They're not, uh, they're not particularly locked or anything like that. They seem to be uh, uh, probably lead leading into the living quarters of the door. Well, the former living quarters of the door. Oh, okay. Uh, hopeful, uh, wishful thinking. Right, right. Uh, there are three doors. Uh, there's... Uh, you know, just like uh, 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 Monty and his, uh, uh, you know, whatever that name of that show was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Make a deal. Can we send the little right in to just check in them? Should we kind of peek in the rooms again? Uh, sure. <laughs> there's three doors. Uh, there's one on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle. I will send my closet to one if you want to send your rat to another. I'll send the rat to the middle. These doors are Should closed. Oh. Okay. Is there any way to see the tracks that may be made through, going through the doors? I don't know. Is... Maybe I can check the map. Oh, you can Always check, check the map. Mag. I thought you were, yeah. thought you were checking it. Keep an eye on that. Oh, by the way, <laughs> now that you're down in this room, Amy, uh, yeah. the uh, uh, the marked hag is much clearer. Uh, and oh. uh, she is directly ahead of you about 100 meters. Oh, good. Well, there you go. I'm going to pass that. In. I'm going to very quietly go over and pass the information along because we're. She probably thinks we don't know she's there. We're just. Or she's invested. waiting for us. I think so, she probably knows we're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> probably the middle door. <laughs> I mean, there's an army in, the, in here. <laughs> there is. No. Although they are being as quiet as possible. We should it's check the side doors first. Regardless, just so we can make sure there's nothing else hiding behind the other doors. But like a hag in each room. Oh well, we don't know. So. No. Nah. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. If you want to check them, check them. Yeah. Yeah, we should still just check them all. Regardless, so I will send my closet uh, invisible, and it will take the form of a. I believe it turns into a centipede. So <laughs> it will. Become a centipede and peek right, through the door. center, or left? Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, it goes under the door <laughs> in its form, uh, and it uh, uh, there's a small alcove, and it uh, juts off uh, to the south, or to uh, further to the right, uh, and it can see that there is a long hallway here that has many doors on both sides. Hmm. Okay. I'll relay that information to the party, and I'll recall my my closet. Okay. Time is it? Uh, Bob, if you wanna yeah. check your door, I'll uh crack the door and stick the rat inside. Same thing, <laughs> except for yeah. less oh. doors. That that okay. does not sound like a good thing to do. Okay, so there's no enemies that we can see in those well, they're two passageways. The yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, uh... Right, it is. It's well, forward, there's the middle forward. door. We need no, to go I, and... No, I, I put her in the middle door. I, I, said, I said I'd take the middle oh, door. Oh, okay. Oh, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. The middle door. Yes. That's the one with the hanging. I thought you yes. checked the left okay. door, my bad. Then, uh, you <laughs> That's what I thought, that. yeah. Um, uh, you'll, uh, uh, you'll crack the middle door, it goes in. Uh, there is a uh, short hallway... Uh, and there, uh, it, it comes, looks around the corner of a much larger room that goes to the, uh, to the north and south, um, uh, which is right and left. Uh, and, uh, this seems to be, uh, mess hall slash lounge, you know, hangout place for the dwarves. Uh, there's mm -hmm. nobody in here. Uh, the place is in absolute shambles. Um, uh, uh, but other than that, uh, it looks like there was a battle in this room. Uh, ahead of that is another hallway that ends in a uh, uh, in a uh, iron-bound door, like the one you saw upstairs. This one's smaller, however. Uh, but the noticeable thing to your rat, and doesn't like it very much, and it's complaining, uh, mm -hmm. is the fact that there are writhing brambles uh, coming seeping out of the edges of the frame of the door. Yeah, 
Founder. Hmm. Okay. So there's brambles coming out of the door. Like, could you set them aflame from this side or? Good, but I mean, she, well, I mean, she's going to know the minute we open Yeah, it. she'll know as soon as we, so. as we do it. Um, and I, I'll just say, for the sake of our characters knowing through all the doors, well, I'll have my closet check the left door too. So now, you I know, you, that's it's the same thing. Just the yeah, 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 same thing. I know. They're um, okay. Barracks and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I guess we're going to open the door and stop blasting. Unless you guys have a better idea. Oh, yeah, don't no, we have them coming the from thing you've the said all day? Do they not come from multiple directions, or am I misunderstanding that? There's only one door where there's the um, brambles. The brambles. I misunderstood. The then I had the wrong image. Okay. Yeah. But the hundred yards ahead, that's on the other side of that door. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go. Adventure is akimbo. Wow. Let's go. And yeah, fire people. Um, I'll check the time. door for <laughs> traps then. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, as you would pr try to approach the door, the brambles reach out at you. Give me a dexterity roll. And that's what I'll be doing now. <laughs> add your uh, add your guidance because you can you can, well actually I, I think Here you can apply it to this. Well, you can, no, we can just I mean, keep pumping it out. It's it's, it's a cantrip. But okay, this but... is insp inspiration though that we got. I can use that too. So. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah. Hey, guys, I'm stepping, I'm stepping away from the mic, but I'm listening. Okay, okay so, cool. Um, I'm using my magic boots with the dodge, so I'll... Yeah, just... that's whatever. Whoop. Just give me the dexterity saving throw, dude. 27, dude. No problem. Uh, it's a uh, matter of fact, you kind of chuckled to yourself how lame that was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, but, but there is a threat. So, should we light them up, or yeah, that's what I do? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we've got to, All right, we got to use force. <laughs> I'll grab my other water skin that I have. Uh, don't with oil. waste it. Don't waste I'll it. I'll hit him with the sacred flame. I just start zapping. Don't have. All right. There's cool. so much fire around you, dude. Um, uh, who's doing what to burn this? Let's have, let's let Puffin here. do something. You do it. Puffin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just use the cantrip sacred flame so that's what the I, brambles that's pick a d8 uh, oh, holy uh, damage. Yeah, you fire. don't. Uh, they burn way quicker and way harder and way louder uh, 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 when they get hit by that, and instantly they retract, uh, screeching. You hear this just echo of screaming behind that door, uh, and uh, with that, as you guys stand in front of the door. Uh, you uh, uh, in the room out uh, the the mine shaft room, and uh, uh, of course there's still some army here uh, that has followed you into this uh, recreational hall um, slash kitchen slash cafeteria stuff like that. Uh, three hags appear and start attacking the army. What? <laughs> that was so oh, nice. Here we go. Times. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So initiative. Oh, so initiative. initiative yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, fifteen. All right, so I just make sure it right. I will roll it. Okay. I I just have the worst stats, so I'll go. Yeah, I need to help you, man. I rolled I an eighteen. Uh -oh. Yes, you. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Twenty-two. I mean, nice, you can help lady. me, but my stats can't change because it's from the book. <laughs> Seven. Well, we can move stuff around if we have He's to. He's a min maxer, dude. I am. <laughs> Believe me, I've I've done my homework. This is what we call a meta player. Mm -hmm. Well, not exactly. <laughs> no, this is what we call a bullshit artist. Yep, yep. Right. That's all right. <laughs> a little bit, just a little right, bit. So everybody is rolled initiative. Uh, I have an 18. So anyone who's before me may go. Uh, now the, let me set the scene very clearly. Uh, the door in front of you, where you guys are, you guys are up at the door. Okay, the entire party. Um, the brambles that were there have been pushed back. Uh, they're still scree screeching on the inside, which, of course, the, 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 the uh, ladies uh, noticed. Um, and uh, the hags are 
in amongst the army. They're not attacking you directly, well, yet. Uh, they're just de- they just uh, uh, arrived in a mass of men, and they're just uh, they're just absolutely eviscerating everything they can. Uh, now you guys have a choice, and you could do whatever you want, uh, but you can go after hags. Uh, there's still a door uh, in front of you, which you could keep doing what you're doing. Uh, it doesn't matter. You choose what you want to do. Just keep in mind that the hags do have the ability. Uh, even the ones who might not have the gem, because uh, we know one has a gem. The other two probably don't, right? Um, but, but they still can, a certain amount of times a day, enter the ethereal realm, uh, and they can. And of course, they haven't done that yet today. Would you would assume, right? Just uh, check your messages. No, okay. Well, we know one has. You don't. Uh, oh, that's right. That, but they can do it like twice a day, I think. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, one, one has used one, at least. Uh, I don't know. He hinted about the door, so... (laughs) Focus fire and overwhelm one. Yes, I agree. Okay, let me know uh, when I can, when I have a turn. Uh, You rolled your initiative, correct? And that would be, what die? Again, 20? D20. Uh, Plus your dex. D20, yeah, plus your dex modifier. Plus, I mean, I could have added like a 7. Need okay, let me. Oh. I got twenty. Uh, okay. Dexterity. All right, so uh, there's this uh, scene. I'm rolling now. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. See that one. Seventeen. It's raining. It's raining. What, uh, what do I? What do I add to my dexterity? Seventeen. What do I add to that? So, okay, so it's a plus three. Yeah, D twenty plus. Three. So D twenty plus three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a D twelve. How do I clear that? Uh, there should be There's a, a clear button. Right, got, yeah. got it. Got it. I got twenty. And the heck is the roll button? It just says roll. Roll. It's right in the center. It's oh, there it is. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Uh, all right. 13. 13. I, had, all right. I had my so, window shifted. Uh, that's okay. Uh, so uh, whoever is above 18 may go first. I know Lady is certainly above 18. Anyone else? Nope. I, have, I got a 21. All right. Then you yeah. go as well. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, we will go Honey, Lady, and then me. Uh, so, okay. honey, you're first. Uh, you get to uh, do what you want to do. So, uh, that I, I set the scene. Uh, the hags are uh, just laying into this room. Um, you do hear some... Uh, well, you guys are too deep. You wouldn't be able to hear that. Um, so, uh, go ahead, honey. What are you going to do? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm thinking of using my flamethrower on the hags. <laughs> um, uh, sure, sweetie. they are surrounded mm. by uh, soldiers, however. Okay, I support this. I support this idea. Yes. Uh, probably not the best. Uh, there are other. I mean, you you do have two other types I, I of turrets you could oh build. Gosh, this, I think I have a better idea. I'm going to put up the force ballista to uh, boost up every everyone in the room's HP. Okay. Sure. Okay. That gives temporary hit points. Go ahead and do that. Uh, you just make a roll and tell everybody what their hit points they get. Right. Okay. Is it two D eight plus like intelligence, or just straight up two D eight? Two D eight. I'll have to no, look. No, it's just two D eight. Go ahead and make two D eight. Okay. Make your roll. Okay. Use the ball. Uh, so everybody seven. gets seven temporary uh, hit points. Just keep that in mind. It's it's one D eight plus your intelligence modifier for the protector oh, cannon. Oh, okay. And that uh, so roll again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just I was like eh, I'm not sure. So I was, I checked. No, no, that's it's fine. called okay. expedition. You want to roll again? Yes, roll again, please. Yes, sir. Two D eight nice. plus uh, one D eight. One D eight plus your plus your intelligence modifier. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's, GOP's freaking oh, ring. Got bad notes. Sorry, I've got all. I've got everything on like a list. I can just click on the link and check it right away, because uh, you know. I mean, I'm just clicking. On. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, one d eight plus your intelligence mod. All right, everybody gets twelve. Uh, your intelligence modifier is certainly not plus seven. It most certainly is not plus seven. What is it? Yeah, it should be either plus four or plus five. I forget what it was for you. Wait a second. 
Um, my intelligence modifier is it's seven. It is not. It cannot. Uh, it cannot can be. It's impossible. Oh, well, what is maybe that's with the proficiency. If you have a if you have a twenty, yeah, you're not adding your proficiency to this. So if you have a twenty, the proficiency's for saving throws, right? No, uh, no, your no, proficiency is no, for other fine. things, but uh, but not this. So uh, you have a plus five. Ten. So you have a. She has a twenty intelligence. That's yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, therefore, uh, everybody gets ten temporary hit points. Uh, all right, okay. lady. Moving in the, in the direction of the hags, and uh, when I get a chance, not shoulder to shoulder with someone else, I'm turning. I'm shape shifting into a dire wolf. Sweet. Okay. Uh, can you and shape shift and attack in the same round? I uh, I believe so. Yes. Movement and attack. Movement okay. and then shape. Yeah. Go ahead and do your Four. thing. Unless I'm gonna, unless you're gonna allow me to attack too. Yeah. Oh, no, because I, I think it's a bonus that. action. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Duh. I'm sure you can. Okay. Yeah. This is the plus three. I can look. I'm yeah. Just pretty sure. It. Yeah. No, miss. Oh, yeah. You have pack tactics. You have pack tactics. You get advantage. Anyone within five feet of me? Yeah, if yes, you're... If you literally yeah. have... There's an army. 40 plus army. people in this room. By that road, uh, stupid five, okay? Plus three, well, so... No, but... No, but advantage. Yeah. Let's do 2d20, take the best. You get to roll roll one more okay. d20 plus three. All right. And there you go. All right. Yeah. And you get a complimentary scratch ticket. <laughs> Anybody nice. play the lottery tonight? Okay. <laughs> um, all right, it's a 14. Yeah. That's good. Does that hit Chester? Uh, 14 to hit one of the hags? No. Hard to hit Chester. Okay. He's really far away. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. All right, but uh, but anyway, the uh, wolf goes in to make its attack, and we definitely get uh, a dire wolf in the room, which is always cool. Now it's my yeah. turn. Um, yeah. And um, uh, basically, with the all three hags uh, uh, acting in in all in both rooms, because this is happening across two rooms, two areas, right? Uh, and. Uh, uh, basically, about 12 of the soldiers just fall onto the ground asleep. Uh, was that including the ones who have temporary hit points? 12 of the soldiers fall on okay. the ground asleep. All right. All right. I'm just, I'm just making sure we remember that they, a lot of them do. 12? I swear to God. Zeus <laughs> is going to appear, bitch. I know. Just check okay. your messages. All right, fine. <laughs> um, uh, then uh, basically everybody else goes. Uh, so right. uh, therefore, we'll just start from the top. Uh, Amy, go ahead. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. So <laughs> that's a lot of people. Ooh. I think I might know what would wake everybody up at once. Hmm. Fire. Can I use thunder and smite? Oh. Sounds good. Uh, Once again, I support this plan. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> anything what is... that smites a hag is a good thing. Uh, now, uh, Larry, uh, yes. And, yes. Uh, okay. You should definitely know what your constitution is because you rolled it. Oh, it's just one of my stats. Okay. Cool. Right. Mm -hmm. So which is it? <laughs> what is your constitution number? What is the number? It is uh, 13. Uh, all right. So basically... Add plus one to those d8s and roll five of them. Okay, I've already rolled the die. Okay. So you're dropping add one. Plus five after the fact, right? So. Okay. Okay, got it. And thunderous smite calculation here. Rock on. Uh, is yeah, part yeah, of your attack action. Thunderous smite, smite the hell out of him. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Now that is, is that a bonus action? And then I can use it. I know it's, the smites are different. Okay. Yeah, it's a bonus action, and then um, when you hit, the effect takes place. Okay. So, so you just kind of hold on to it for up to a minute, and then once you actually hit the enemy, that's when the thunder smite occurs. Nice. 
Okay, so boo -boo -boo -boo. let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, so do I need to roll anything for the? Oh, I, I think I only need to roll for the attack. Is that it? Yep. The first time okay. Yep. So yep, roll then, for the attack. Okay, so just roll for the attack. I haven't used this one before. This is exciting. Okay. Are you um, attacking Darid the Hag? The hag that you guys had attacked earlier in the day, or the hag? Well, well, that's that one's too far away. Um, uh, so either are you going to attack the main hag you guys dealt with uh, weeks ago, or the one you dealt with today? Which one are you going to attack? Oh, uh, ooh, which one still has low HP? Uh, you don't. None know. of them. It's not written Choose on the chest. Either Darren the <laughs> hag, or the one you attacked today. Okay. Which one is Lady uh, up against? Ooh, that's a good question. Because I didn't choose. We'll, we'll say that's she's going up against the one that was closest to her, which is the one you attacked today. Amy, choose, okay. please. Okay, I'll uh, I'll I'll attack I'll attack her then, because she's probably still got some low health. Hit uh, the, the unnamed one. You one. She today. hit me with a child. All right, go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> okay, okay yeah. I'm doing this right. That was yours, bro. And D twenty plus seven. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, and now I need to roll. Okay. Attack an extra two d six. Right. So now I roll. I roll eight, and then eight. Okay. Yeah, just add the. 2d6 yeah. on your normal damage. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so you and uh, plus, plus five. Oh, oh, right, duh. So 14. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, you oh. definitely dig your blade into and you smite it with your uh, god's name. And, it's and like, she ah. has to uh, strength check. Okay. Uh, must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 10 feet away from you and knocked prone. Uh, I don't know what your. I would assume her spell save modifier is 15, but I'm not sure how that works with this. So. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, that's a failure. Me? That's a critical failure. So you come in, you shout uh, uh, the name of your god, and you uh, mm -hmm. hit her, uh, and she tumbles over and falls uh, in, deeper into the room, uh, falling into uh, uh, large cafeteria tables and uh, ending up prone on the floor screeching with pain and like it burns it burns she's not melting though uh, <laughs> okay there's some water yeah. tough okay. sun on her <laughs> okay uh, what a world what a world, what a world. Okay. Uh, that's and you're done okay so uh okay. Did next that sound wake up the guards what do you mean wake it, up the guards the guards uh, are in full so, combat no oh, uh, no there's a weapon with sleep. Sleep. So the, the weapon rings with a thunder that is audible within 300 feet of you. I don't know if that would actually impact no. it or not. The only way to wake yeah. them is to actually assault them. Oh, you can't wake them up with a loud no. like, thunder? No, it's magic sleep. Oh. It's magic sleep. Uh, it's but, magic uh, sleep. But so you have to spend an action to, do, to useful, wake them up. Though. That was useful. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, uh, all right, so uh, next, uh, Bill. Oh yeah. See a haggle okay. Flying um, across the room, crashing in the table, screeching. And she is uh, Darren. No. No. Nope. No. The one you attacked no, this today. Is the, one that, the one that was attacked. Okay. Uh, Darren. I know. I recognize her because her name is I. Her Tad. I just came up. Tadpole. <laughs> okay. Um. We'll fire a sneak attack. At and oh, nice. we'll go with 24. You definitely hit him. Nice. And that's the Do you have winning action? <laughs> yeah, I do. He does, yeah. Um, Good times. Good times, yeah. <laughs> Good times. Damn rogues. <laughs> <laughs> now, which one is this? Is this Darid or the one that's uh, fallen down? It's Darid. Okay. Uh, well, you put some big damage on her, and she doesn't like it. She looks and sneers at you. Uh, but I hide. Uh, so uh, very good, though, and you take cunning action to duck behind the alcove at the doorway so that you don't get hit because you're a cowardly rogue. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that's how that's we play. Right. That's how you do. <laughs> that's how you do. L uh, lady, uh, went this uh, round. went. Uh, so uh, next is Bob. 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 I'm going to set them on fire. Yeah. Uh, Scorching Still. Ray. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know what? I'm going to hit the one that's on the ground. Okay. You're going to burn the witch? Burn the witch. <laughs> burn her. Make, build a bridge out of her. Okay. And she's prone, right? So doesn't that just mean you hit her? No. No, no he gets pluses, though. Yeah. She is at yeah. distance. Keep that in mind. Uh, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, he does get, oh, dude. You absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You got blasted. Uh, deleted. Do your damage. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep. Um, I can't get rid of this one for some reason. It won't. This one die won't go, go away. I don't know who's. I'm. It I'm is. not seeing any die on my end. I'm not seeing up here. And by the way, I'm hitting here with all three rays, so that's sixty-six. Yeah. 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 Get, yeah. yeah that sounds good. Yeah. As we wait for damage. Oh, so pretty. 19 pretty. points of damage. Um, that is very nice. Uh, we're up to 30, uh, 33 damage so far. Very nice. Um, uh, and, and these are rays of frost? Rays of fire. Rays of fire. Oh, he just puts his uh, little gnomish hand out and you know, he does like that. And, and, you know, burn, baby, burn. Rays of fire burst out and hit her as she screams more. She's having a bad day. And she already took it's a big really. chunk of damage, didn't she? Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, she's actually hurt real bad, dude. Um, uh, alrighty, uh, let's see here. Next would be uh, the G, O, and P. Okay, uh, I'm going to do my... Well, I rolled a 19, that's pretty good. Uh, um, okay, so I'm going to do Hex, and I'm going to Hex her... Class, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to Hex her Strength Saves, and then I'm going to... Uh, yeah, Eldritch Blast with my Hex effect, so... Yeah. Okay. So you hit. All right. I'm just adding my this stuff. This is the one on the ground, or is this the... The uh, one on the ground, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to finish her off. Yeah, you should. You should. Uh, uh, 15 so points of damage. Another 15 points on top. So, so, 29. Uh, you actually blow her, uh, as she's trying to get up, you blow her right hand off with that blast. Ooh. And she lets out a screech. Um, I hope she doesn't need some attic components. Yeah, uh, but uh, th that's a good attack. Uh, next would be um, uh, Larry, the bard. Yeah. The bard who has a secret weapon that we don't know Boom. about. I plan that thing on the ground. Well, go ahead and give it a, make this a cinematic moment because it is. <laughs> Hey, one more time, you cut out. Left it in his um, Be ahead. cinematic. Yes, describe cinematic. what you do. Be cinematic. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yes. I whip out. Oh, that doesn't matter. How do I put yeah. this up? I, <laughs> I, I grab the staff that I was carrying with me, the short I'm cane, and I slam the tip of it down on the ground. Just a tip. Bam. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm trying my hardest here. Come on. Oh, uh, God. That's okay. I'll There's no you winning. Uh, you yeah. guys see uh, this uh, this uh, bard who likes to sing little ditties. Uh, it's kind of like a commercial, really, a walking one. Um, and uh, he takes a walking stick, and he bangs it into the ground. Uh, the thing sings out with a perfect clarity uh, and begins glowing a light blue, lifts into the air, letting out... A, uh, a burst of light that uh, encompasses all the rooms and areas we are in. The hags let out a scream, uh, and you see for the very first time across Derrid's face, fear. Hello. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I like the look of that. Me, yeah. Well, I'm obviously going to attack, but I don't know whatever's in front of me, I suppose. I don't know where I am in the room. Well, you are using a sword, correct? Uh, yes, so yes, Derek yes. would be the one nearest to you. you could... Then that's the one that's well, going to be attacked. Actually, you then. could move to the one that's badly damaged and, and, and attack in the same round. It's close enough. I could I'm going to yell out also, so, I mean, yell out also so everybody knows that those hags are now locked on this plane. 
Oh, yes. yeah. Wait till this is over and there's going to be this little norm kicking your little norm ass saying, why didn't you fucking tell us you had something like that to begin with? Yeah, do that. I wouldn't I'm, have been worried. Do that. Um, uh, anyway, Rabbit, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I could have sidetracked. I'm going to attack the... Uh, I don't know how to finish it off. Or I suppose... Well, I, I won't, I'm not in the way. Like, I'm not going to be get like, you know, flanked, am I, if I go and attack the evil one? Actually, yeah, you'll... The one who's on the ground, I mean, you're going to get advantage either way. The other one... Yeah. They're all surrounded. No, I mean, I'm not going to get flanked. I don't want to be hit on the way past. That's what I mean. I know. That's, that's, all, that's all I want to know. If I can, I'll attack the one on the ground without getting hit. That's good. Yes, you can. Um, yeah. Okay. So I will roll my... Hang on. I keep losing my sheet. Uh, right. So strength plus that. No, it's d20 plus strength. And then it's... Uh, what do I add on for anything else? Uh, for your modifier, it's going to be for your uh, to hit. So, what is your uh, strength? I know, I know, I've got that. I, but you said oh, it was extra. Uh, something else is up. Is what he's oh, you can add your proficiency to that. So, as well. Yeah, just roll normal, rabbit. Just roll normal. Oh, just roll normal. So yeah, be d twenty plus four. It's because yeah. you know, she's prone on the floor. That's what it was on about. That's oh, what I was well, yeah, no, no. You would get uh, an additional plus two. Advantage. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or no, you're right. In this game, it's advantage. Get advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's fine. Really so one more d20. Uh, I, I have 24. No. Uh, one more because you 24. get advantage. Uh, yes, you have a 24. Uh, very good. Uh, here he did. Here he did. He did that. Um, uh, so uh, you hit for sure. Do your damage. Uh, da, 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 28 plus 1. And wait, let me just check. Oh, yeah. And I get. Uh, so it's. Plus three in total. Okay. I'm just making sure I get it right. So it's uh, D8 plus three. Nah. 11. That's Eight. actually a really good roll. Very nice. Max damage. Max damage. Because nice. it's magical. Uh, yeah. All right. So you run over and you uh, you do a, uh, uh, a sun shot, which means you kind of bring the sword from the ground and lift it up. And you catch her right through her head, and the front of her face slips off her body uh, in absolute and utter silence. She drops to the ground dead. Fantastic. Her body begins to writhe uh, because it's trying to ethereal uh, to move ethereally, but it cannot. It can't. Her, yeah. her body begins to bubble, um, and she is. I uh, step back. Good times. <laughs> nice. One is fi we finally killed a hag, everybody. You killed a hag this, finally. This After is after all this, this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> GG guys, GG. Let's all go home now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. GG guys. GG. Celebrate. Yeah. Let's have a name one. Pizza guys. time. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So hag is dead on the ground. Darren looks at you with absolute death in her eyes. Uh, she's confused. She's unhappy. How could you possibly have such a potent artifact? as a dimensional anchor because she knows exactly what it is uh how could you even um uh humans are not that capable uh but nevertheless uh she's lost one of her uh uh, uh coven members uh now um uh, i think i have uh, uh puffin left uh you guys see some other things going on with my guys on my turn uh there most of the soldiers who aren't on the ground asleep are in the front uh a very large front room uh, where the shafts are, and they're fighting a hag on their own, and uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> some of them are asleep on the ground, and a they get a couple hacks in here or there, but uh, this is a very serious opponent for them to be dealing with. However, uh, Puffin, uh, you see uh, a hag yes. is literally uh, melting and bubbling on the ground after a rabbit runs up and gives the, uh, the coup de grace. Uh, and Darad is in the middle of the room. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, cinematically, I would have won. I wish I would have killed her because then I would have beaten her to death with her own hand. Turn about fair play. But um, <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the infestation cantrip because I I realize that the only way I can get these guys to wake up is by attacking them. But I don't have to do a lot of damage, so I'm going to summon. Well, you know, use infestation to uh, basically conjure a cloud of fleas to go and bite all these guys that are asleep for oh, like, Oh, they wouldn't you know. be fleas. They'd be hornets, because that's what your oh, guy yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm going to have the hornets fly out and sting them awake. To wake them up. Well, that's not a bad Blizz, idea. Blizz. I like that. And then uh, take I'm going 50 to use... experience points. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to then 
use my war cleric uh, charge so I can make well, an attack can you as a do both of those things. I can as my action. Cool. I can use infestation. Then uh, as my movement, I can. You can do your thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I know Honey can do something like that too. Uh, keep in mind uh, the uh, uh, the hag that beat you with a young child is in the other room uh, with fighting the soldiers in the shaft room, the mining shaft. Oh, I'm running still have there. a chance attacking her then. Well, no. Well, Darren, you you can't get there in this turn, uh, but uh, you can attack Darren, uh, who is in front of oh, you. Oh. So, all, all right, right so your there, swarm then. does its job, and it wakes up the dudes, and, you know, eight of them are in this room that were dropped. So that's that's handy, although they're not happy about the stings. Uh, and then take your attack <laughs> against Darren. Especially if they're allergic to such a dick. That makes them kill them. Fourteen. Oh. I yeah. am uh, going to use my War Cleric ability to give myself plus ten to that, so that's a twenty-four. Is that a free action? Yep, it's just sweet. I can do it once no, per short no, rest. That's cool. This is the big fight. Might as well burn it all. Uh, so you hit. It's, you only need a 17 to hit. Uh, so do your damage. Okay. I'm using the uh, the great sword. I believe it's 2d6. Let's see here. It is. Yep, there we go. Six damage. Boo. Oh, well. Still hit her. Plus, plus your strength, right? My strength is plus two. All right. Uh, so you put a nick on her. It's the first bit of damage on her today. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's interesting. Uh, you missed, lady. She's but flesh. No, wound. someone did a thirty-three on her. No, that was the other one that's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, nevertheless, um, uh, now it is still my turn. Like I said, we got a few nicks on the ones in the other room from those guys. Uh, my delayed action is this. As you guys are all focused into the room uh, with the one successfully dropping a hag, which is awesome, uh, and looking at Derrid, uh, who is uh, fully engaged with you now, uh, the door opens behind you. And there's a guy in a red cloak. There are three. With pointy teeth. Things <laughs> pointing out, uh, coming out at you. One Great. of the things that's coming out at you, you have seen before. Uh, matter of fact, you probably don't like her very much. Oh, so, um, yeah. uh, the wizardress or the sorceress uh, uh, is, of course, she doesn't run out at all. She casts a spell from beyond, uh, uh, beyond the door frame. Uh, but you see, as the spell she casts lights up, you see it's her. Uh, however, running out in front of her, uh, you do see two new faces. One is a dwarf with fangs uh, and glowing red eyes, as well as these two. Uh, the other one uh, is very, very familiar to a certain puffin. Uh, it's a little girl with glowing red eyes. And someone yeah. has bothered to replace her arms with Umbra Hulk claws. Well, that's great, because I'm going to pick up this little girl and beat the hag to death with her. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, they charge out and attack, so let me take my attacks. Uh, Bill's going to get one of them, uh, because he's closest to the door. Uh, so... Uh, uh, Bill, you can choose sorceress, vampire, undead little girl. Which would you like? I know what I choose. I gotta jump in really quick. I'm playing that music again. F okay. You. <laughs> well, you've been playing um, it the whole time. Uh, okay. So well, your hand, when I put the cane get... down, I just wanted to be sure that I continued. Uh, right, right, your fingers right. are probably getting tired. You, you are. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Bill, make a choice. Sorceress, vampire, yeah. undead little girl. Sorceress. All right, fine. Uh, so the sorceress, uh, uh, the same as she had done before, these kind of icky uh, green with purple vein uh, uh, serpents come flying out of her hands, and she drops yeah. a magic missile on you. Uh, and the magic, the magic missile in no, fifth edition you can't is see me. what? I'm I'm hiding. Dude, she cut. She's coming from behind you. Literally, you're oh, hiding. That's... Yeah, I do apologize Gosh. for that. Um, no, it's uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, GOP in this edition, how are they doing? The uh, what is it? Forty six. One d four. Uh, oh, for um. <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's uh, sorry, sorry. for each bolt. I think it's three bolts, three if bolts. I recall yeah, I correctly, and each one is one d four plus plus one, right? I want to yeah, say yeah, plus right. one, yeah. Yeah. What level is she casting at? Because uh, that determines if if she's uh. No, no, he's right. Yeah. He's right. He's right. 
Yeah, but if you hide it, cast it at higher levels, you get more bolts. Bob! It's... No, it's okay. This is she, yeah. what level she cast right. about, Yeah, third um, or fifth. Or... Uh, she hits you with a uh, 14 points of damage as these bolts just... You're surprised, right? This is uh, from your back, and you just hear the feel oh, this you know what? burning pain. I have alert, so I can't be surprised. Oh! Well, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean oh, that yeah, kind yeah. of surprise. I mean, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Surprised, right? Because it's Jeez, yeah, because it's magic yeah, missile. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. So you, know, uh, you I get didn't hit get with magic missile, skin, which is unerring, and you job. take fourteen points of damage. Oh, you got that? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> the vampire <laughs> runs past, and the vampire is going to come into the room. Uh, let me see here. Who deserves it? Oh, I know. This noisy bard deserves it. Okay. Oh wow! Come on, it's I, beautiful music. I step music. aside as he runs past me, and I just go. <laughs> so, so the servants stick around even if their master dies. Gotcha. Well, actually, the little girl's engaging with you, Bob. So uh, you're engaged as the. That's um, okay. I'm gonna kill this little bastard. Back. However, Bob, you do get an uh, attack of opportunity though on the vampire if you'd like to take it. Okay, <sighs> dokey. And let me double check something here real quick. I'd uh, like to have. Um, so stack of opportunity. You don't get one though. I still like to have one. <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have warcaster, so I'm going to use a spell for this attack of opportunity. Oh, sure. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna like this. Warcaster. You're a warcaster. Um, I'm a warcaster too. Yeah. Wouldn't Isn't you like crazy? to be a warcaster? Uh, <laughs> war uh, scorching ray again. Okay. So D twenty plus six. Well, I shit. Missed something, didn't I? Um, inspiration. Reroll it, that. Well, do we? We're not it, using inspiration, dude. Oh, I thought no. We he, he, we it. had one what from about, earlier. Remember? From my from my that doesn't involve my D six. Yeah, you just add a d6 to your roll oh, if you right. want you to use inspiration. Yeah, but we don't, we're not using inspiration well, as far yeah. as uh, uh, victory points and stuff like no. that. But you, get, yeah. you, get a plus you get one. Everyone had one d6 to burn. Once you use it, you lose it. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, I, I remember that. <laughs> All right, so uh, you miss the vampires. It goes past you. Um, yep. uh, this one is attacking GOP. Uh, and uh, let's see here. I guess. Oh no! Uh, oh no! Don't hit uh, tater. Uh, don't don't hit the tater. Oh. Uh, let's see here. So which one's attacking me? The vampire. All right. The one that looks like a dwarf, but it's not anymore. Mash yes. that tater. All right. So there. The Mash thing. taters. All right. Okay. Very good. Uh, all right. Ooh, these things hit, dude. They're nice. All right. So uh, let me right, do my, bring it on. my attacks. I will bring it on. All right. <laughs> Come on, bro. 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 Uh, bring it on 16. like a one foot ball. Miss. A claw. Miss. And a Miss. Of 14. So it comes in launching at you, you know, <laughs> this little dwarf. Uh, he's in very nice looking armor, by the way. And he's got kind oh. of this weird looking, almost crownish thing on his head. He might oh. be the king under the mountain. But uh, no, the no, nobody, okay. nobody, nobody. Yeah, I missed, I missed, I missed that. Okay. I was Brown just thinking king, of madness, but right. yeah. And, if I laugh, um, I get an inspiration point. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> then the um, uh, little girl comes up and attacks uh, the gnome, uh, and she's she's actually taller than you are because she's human. Um, oh no, that's not what I want. Let's clear that. Sorry. It's not what the gnome wants either. No. Oh, oh, definitely oh, not a crit. Twenty. Ooh. Ooh. Is it crit chart in this? Jeez, no. Well, I just should. remember the gnome is in her uh, her wild shape. No, no, I'm attacking Bob. Oh, yeah. oh, the other. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was thinking. Yeah. What does I was thinking of, yeah. What does uh? Oh, okay. So yeah, you you get hit. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Uh, all right, and she is doing uh, because she literally has an Umbra Hulk claw on her. Uh, she does a rather special little bit of attack, uh, and this is going to be doubled. Just keep that in mind. Um, it's going to hurt. It's going to oh, hurt. Fate, remove me from this painted orb. Uh, Ooh, you take 14 this. points of damage as she, ba she she comes up, and she actually grapples you in this claw. 
you are held, sir. Now, that's not so being, much damage, though. That's well, good. being a wizard, I... it, it's it, it's not restricting his uh, movement of hands and stuff, so it's it's not actually that big a deal for him. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, and and squeezes, and you take a big pop of damage. Uh, and this the the look in this girl's eye is wild and hateful. It's just hate filled. You uh, she hit like a you bitch, dead. huh? You hit like and a bitch. I just bitch. want to remind you that you have. Yeah, I gave you ten temporary hit points, so that absorbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already. I already um, after, so. All right, back to the top, honey. Okay. Okay. You, you hit like a bitch, you little bastard. All right, so I'm in a room full of soldiers and vampires and everything. Cracking on a flamethrower would be kind of hazardous. So can I? Can I use my? Do I? Can I use my guard? Can I recast my my uh? Protection ballist? Uh, my protection? I uh, believe you can. can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's it's um, well no um, you can't add any more temporary hit points. No, it's already that's yeah, already doesn't... in effect. So yeah, do something else. I'd save okay. that. Yeah, if you can. Okay. Um. Do something with right, damage. So I don't know what you're playing. Is fireballs really too unpredictable? Maybe oh, God. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't well, do that. Don't do that. <laughs> if anyone actually, you know, dead. <laughs> if anyone's taking any damage, because uh, that that um, turret that she has that gives temporary hit points, it keeps going each round, so she can add more. No, she can't. If, well, not no not way. on top of. I mean, like, no if way. somebody... It's a one-time No, not effect. like, it doesn't go on top of. I'm saying, no. like... No, it's a one-time effect for sure. Uh, really, in this situation, honey, what you want to do, since you have access to Fireball, uh, you want to do Lightning Bolt. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> hmm. Okay. You don't have Bye. it. Huh? Um, when I said Fireball, I meant Flamethrower. Although uh, I do no, have Fireball. You don't want to do that either. That, uh, you don't <laughs> right. want to do anything. It's area effect. You don't want to do that. Do right. that. How about Force Ballista? Well, you've already used up your because you had the fire one out, and then you switched it out for the for the protection one. Right. So you have so. to do an actual magical spell or a physical attack. Okay. Um, how about catapult? You can do that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll cast. Hmm. You didn't could, give her. You didn't give her a single target uh, third level spell. Uh, um, uh, catapult is a single target first. Well, first level because yeah, she doesn't have third level. She, well, she does. She has fireball. No, she doesn't I have fireball. Have, she I have fireball. Bolt. Okay, um, uh, yeah, that's very different. Uh, you could do fire bolt. Yeah, but um, if you want to do it, and remember, you can use like if you have your any of your acid vials or anything like that, you can use them with as extra damage on your catapult. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. So right now, let's see. Well, maybe the vamp. Oh, there's a vampire dwarf. There's a wicked sorceress, and there's a. There's two kid. night hags. Undead child. And an an undead hags. child and a night hag. Two night hags. Two well, night one hags. in the other room. Yeah. Well, one in the room. And Darren is the one that's um. He's the one who owns the uh, the the uh, the child and and the and the dwarf. Well, you don't know who owns. Yeah, we don't we don't know. But we did kill one, and all three of the followers are still up. So even okay. if you take her down, we're still gonna have to take, fight at the followers. So does that mean that the bag might be around on maybe the one that fell? Uh, it would. Maybe, and but rabbit standing over it. Okay, you can Into yell at him. Minute. Uh, right yeah. now, what I need is to know is what Honey is doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who are you attacking? I mean, okay, if, okay. If Rabbit can actually try, try, like, I don't even know where the where that bag it's is. It's right in front of you. Have the hag. Go ahead and attack the hag, Darren. Attack her. That's what you should be doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Should I use catapult or firebolt? Um. Oh, catapult with the vial of acid. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, do it. 
Okay. Let's see. Yeah, catapult is. I have that here. I have to do a twenty plus intelligence. Yeah. It should be plus because your intelligence is is five, so it should be plus seven. Plus seven. Because you have your proficiency okay. with your spell attacks. All right. Yes! yes. That is. 400 experience points added to your yep. personal XP. You get, um, uh, it's not 400, it's 200. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. But um, um, you do get 200 experience points and you double your damage. So you do your damage from the catapult and then the acid effect, please. Okay. Uh, what, what, how much is the acid effect? Cookie. Ooh, Ooh yum. yay! Did you Ooh. like them? Is it warm? No. Oh, put it in the microwave. <laughs> no, no, I'm suggesting that was a good answer. He was sitting on it this whole time. Of course it's warm. <laughs> he just uh, had it. All right. Um, what was the damage? Well, saving throw to make sure you don't have chocolate on your pants. Okay, so uh, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. I'm a professional. 10 one Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting through. All right, so uh, roll, uh, Chester, roll a dex save. Uh, should be DC 15 for the hag. And what Chester? hag was she aiming at? I'm eating. <laughs> All right, it succeeds the save, which I don't think it takes any damage if it succeeds. Uh... Okay. So no acid bonus? No, it's no, not going to matter because it didn't hit. Okay. You missed. Yep. Wow, that's, oh, that's a waste a of a D20. Bit of a lame oh. skill. I yeah. know. Oh, no. That's the bonus. Yeah. Well, she's still then got the 200. Use that. You should use Fireball. Um, anyway, all right. What? Uh, lady no, wait, 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 wait. What happened? I thought, but it's a normal you, catapult effect, isn't it? You hit, but then the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the object strikes the target and stops moving. When the object strikes something, the object is, so basically it doesn't strike the target if it does if what? they succeed on the throw. Yeah. It so like does if they damage is why. Yeah. So it's, cat wait, catapult can miss even when it hits. Yep. Yeah, no, that's all. yeah. It's it's weird, but it does more damage than like a, a regular thing. That's why it's like you have to you have to do both. Yeah, it's you get two hundred experience points, though. Lady, go. Okay. Uh, there's the name hag who's fighting who now? Who's, the main who's... hag is fighting all of you. Um, right. uh, you have a oh, little wait. girl attacking the gnome uh, wizard. Uh, you have a vampire that's on GOP. Uh, trying to bite the life out of him, uh, and you can't see it because he's hiding. Of course. Oh, and I, I was, know there's I was, another hag in another room. Uh huh. Catapult. There, there is no role for that. I'm sorry. That's By the next save no, was, was all, all we have is regular people over there, right? Well, hold on a second. Regular. Hold on a second. This is getting chaotic. Uh, Gio, yeah. What's right. going on? No, no, catapult. I'm sorry. She shouldn't have rolled in the first place. It was just a deck save. That was that was the mistake. Oh, but I see. Well, regardless, right, right. yeah. Go ahead, lady. Yeah. Attack the attack the hag. Go. Attack the hag with bonus. I don't know how to do that right. How do you not do? It bonus? sounded like you were. Well, singing. no, but okay. I get the roll two twenties. Yep, two d twenty, and add whatever modifier. I think it was a plus three, right? Yeah, so 13. Miss. Wow. Right. Okay. Now, these things are tough, though. Uh, all right, so it's my turn. Uh, let me see what I want to do here. Um, the hag in the other room uh, drops a couple of soldiers, uh, but they are fighting viciously against her. Um, what is Darid going to do? Um... Darid, uh, uh, there's a little Give pouch up. on her uh, belt, and she pulls something out of it and tosses it toward Honey. So she's going to try to make a hit with that. So let me see if I can do so. No. 
<laughs> um, uh, honey, uh, a, a ball of black slime lands on the ground next to you. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Um, kind of look at it. And uh, she also uh, kind of twists her left arm, and you see this bangle bracelet on the arm shines, and it's as if a, a, a sh uh, just for a second she's shrouded in a uh, like a armored shield or like this glowing armor for like a mm -hmm. second, and it goes away. Uh, all right, so that's uh, her turn. Vampire. Vampire. On the GOP. Good look. Okay. Well, I gotta get at least Eight. one hit. Miss. Eighteen misses. All right. Fine. Yep, I have an AC of twenty, with my mage armor and my shield. All right, be like that. Uh, but this uh, this dwarven vampire is is given given at you, uh, sorceress. Um, Pretty uh, well. Give me a uh, will save, please. No, I guess it would be a dexterity save. Give me a dexterity save, which is good for you, Bill. Yeah. She's casting a spell That's... against you. That's fine. That's fine. It is fine. Yeah. I'm okay with that. One. Click, click, click. Roll. Eleven. Ooh. Fail. Uh, Look at it roll four. much lower. Um, these these uh, horrible brambles you guys have been dealing with uh, all day uh, erupt out of the floor below you, the stone floor, uh, and encase you. You are entangled, sir. Uh, How and, far away is she? Uh, she's uh, like twenty feet. Um, okay. Uh, but uh, uh, you are entangled, uh, so uh, you get out by just making another saving throw, right? against her DC. Okay. Uh, but however, every round that you are entangled, you do take D6 oh. damage. You take a full a full blow. This thing just burning and scorching you. You take six damage. Why are you the one that always takes all the damage, by the way? I was going to say you got eaten I'm last the, week. <laughs> I'm the only banger in the crowd, man. Uh, but uh, so, uh, but that's going to happen as long, but you just need to make a save on your turn to get out of it. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, because the girl does uh, have you grappled, uh, Bob, uh, she does get a bonus to apply her damage. Uh, so how come I didn't get a chance to attack her? Because uh, you, you will in a minute, right? Okay. Um, uh, I go before you do. Uh, so uh, she... Oh, okay. Uh, 18, does that hit you? Oh, excuse me, that would be uh, 20, so it definitely hit you. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. And you take another uh, uh, further damage, as you had before. You do. Oh. Jeez. She, she sque squeezes and just looks. She has this delightful glee as she's squeezing the jelly out of you. You take a uh, further 15 points of damage. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, that's, Smurf that's jelly. brutal, dude. Uh, so let's see, sorceress, vampire, hag in the other room, Darid. Yep, I'm done. Uh, back Amy, to the top. Uh, Amy. Can we... Hi. Um, can I use uh, rebuke the violent on that attack? Uh, rebuke the violence. Uh, what is the? It's within thirty feet, right? What does it say for I, there? I think that's totally appropriate. Because it actually is uh, pretty nice if uh, you want to do it. Is that an interrupt? Yeah. It's yeah, I think divinity. It's a reaction. reaction, yeah. It's an interrupt, same thing. It's a reaction, yeah. and it's within 30 feet of the yep. paladin. You can do that. Okay. Force the attacker to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, the attacker takes radiant. Uh, on a failed save, the attacker takes radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt. Okay. So I need to make so, a wisdom DC save. DC 15. <laughs> Made it. Oh. Boo. Okay. <laughs> Boo. Okay, well then you take uh, half of that. Yeah. Well, do your damage. No, you no, no. It, it's literally half of whatever you did. So oh, okay. well, uh, you did 14, 15, 15 so. Seven. Yeah. Seven. All right, so does Amy still get to go? I guess she does. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think it's a reaction. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Okay. Um. All right. 
Boop, 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 boop. Oh, um, can I uh call out to Soren uh to look for a soul bag on the downed hag and see if he can uh to basically look I mean, he must know about hags because I'm sure they must have updated them. Yeah. So He's he well probably aware. has a soul yeah. Okay. Alright, so he probably has a soul bag. See if you can call back one of these creatures. Um boop 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 boop. boop. So I'll go ahead and roll. It's a soul bag. So Amy, what are you doing? I'm attacking. No place. Okay, good. That soul bag. Okay, that hits exactly what All you right. needed. Yeah. Yay. Need the bard right. to sing because I don't sing. <laughs> Bart's been it's quiet. a soul bag. You're not the Bart. I know. I know. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to switch my character over like a, a half orc or something and that then be, be a Bart. And you're going to regret. You're going to regret the singing I do then. Uh, I won't regret it at all. It's Chester who will regret it. Yes, fair. Uh, all right, so uh, you uh, level your sword into Dered, uh doing a, 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 a bit of damage. Uh, but uh, she's still very hale. Uh, but uh, still, not bad, not bad. Uh, all right, let's uh, <coughs> continue on here. Uh, Bill, you got problems. Oh, hell. Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to use my move action to get out of here. Okay. Okay, so that is just my dexterity, and that's all I got, right? You don't need to do anything. So, you just move. You're not going to get an attack for opportunity for anyway. She's too far away. The other ones are engaged. So. He's in the Brambles. Oh, that, I'm oh, sorry. Sure I, I, I a, yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, just a deck save. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Fudge sickles, man. I'm putting. I'm getting rid of this dice set. Oh, clear, the, clear the dice. Clear the dice on All the right. table. Well, you're clear trapped. The... Uh, but uh, uh, the damage I already applied to you, so you're fine. Um, uh, next. Can I still uh, shoot? No, you're completely entangled. You can't do anything unless you get out. Well, can I use my bonus action of cunning action to try and get out again? No, you can't. <laughs> well, Lady, that's just my uh, already went. Uh, let's see here. Next would be Bob. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna blast this little bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Do it. Of course, it is sad though. It is sad. Just no, not really. Just it is. Just die. <coughs> oh, just do it. You definitely hit her, dude. Go ahead. I like rolled four twenties last session. That's why I can't Shit. roll anything this. Session. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, hang on a minute. Just pick that up. Or that uh, bad transferred on to me. And, uh, damn you, Jesus. Right? Oh, jeez. Seventeen. Seventeen. Goodness gracious. Uh, you. What are you doing to her? Is this the bolts again? This is uh, yeah, flame strike. Oh my goodness! It, while she has you grasped, you're gonna flame strike yourself. Yep. Screw this bitch. All right. Fine. Um. <laughs> So make a make a, a, a dodge roll. Uh, where's that here? Just understand, guys. That that's hardcore. That's how you do it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Really? I'm going to assume you want him to do a dex save or something. Yeah, dex, of dex, some dex, kind? dex. Yeah, give me a dex. Yeah, save. yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. All right. Ooh, you're, like able, yeah. you're you're able to push away from her and cast the spell without taking any damage. <laughs> She's I, engulfed, I, however. I uh, pushed and back screaming. on her chest. And huh? I hold one hand up and I hit I said I push back on her chest, so pull away as far as I can, hold my hand up in front of my in front of her face and hit her all three of them right in the face. Yes, you Screw do. Screw the kid. Screw um, them damn kid. Uh, and she is definitely cause sure he took some damage. Uh, she's in she's almost out, actually. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that which is that's a good move. That was a good move. Uh, next is a GOP. You have a vampire. Mm -hmm. Bob, if you would be so kind as to clear your dice. Oh, sorry. I thought I did. It's all good. There it is. Uh, okay. Um, I know, I know I'm going to get an attack of opportunity, but I still, my focus is on the hag. So I'm going to, uh, 
step. Um, can I move 30 feet away from this thing and still have... Or how much room is there in the room? How far can I move? Uh, you can move 30 feet, sure. <clears throat> okay, 30 feet back, away from any enemies or anything. Uh, it's going to get an attack of opportunity on me. And uh, I'm going to blast at the hag. That is a miss. All right. Uh, if you would, yeah, thank you. Okay, so I will do my roll. Uh, 15. 15 misses. Okay. Um, well, that's what I can do on my turn. So, All right. uh, let's see here. Moving on to Larry. Larry. I'm here. It's your turn. Uh, did you see my message? I'm going to keep playing. I'm a bard, so I'm going to rush in. Uh, I don't see your message, no. Playing my the best. Uh-oh. On the Hyperion? Uh, oh, you're talking Private about message? the character you can do sheet. It, uh, yeah, the character sheet. Yes. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. So, I'm going to need a little help there. Yeah, no, no you know. problem. Uh, well, they, the okay. guys will sort you out after. Don't worry about it right now. Okay, so I'm just rushing in and continue to play, but I don't mind moving... Uh, closer to these characters to make sure they can hear my musical <laughs> rap. So you're just basically giving them bonuses. And what does that bonus do, just so everyone knows clearly? Well, it should be improving their roles. Yeah. Uh, what? I believe oh. the bonus that... It well, it's, it's, a, it, 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 it's the same... It's the same thing I've been doing. If I, if I start doing something else, isn't that song going to end? Yeah, it would. Well, you're right. You're just, that's yeah. okay. It's what bards do. Uh, I'm just. Yeah. What, what are the bonus? mechanics of his thing, GOP? Uh, let me look, cause, cause I haven't. It should it's been be a while since I've checked the bard. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I'm just trying to find where bardic inspiration is on here. Okay. Uh, but use a bonus action on your turn to choose one creature other than yourself. So unless, unless one of your, I don't know what um subclass you picked, but. Uh, he hasn't picked anything. Just do what's okay. best the situation. So you actually should only be able to do it for one of, on one okay. of us, so and pick, I don't know someone. who. Who is yeah. your target? Who are you helping out? Uh, who is it that was just uh, in the brambles and escaped? Uh, who is, is still in the brambles? That would be Bill. Oh, I thought he pushed away. No, he did not. Nope. No, that was uh, Bob. He did not Bob. push away. Okay. So uh, the uh... – sorry, I'm just checking here. Here, give me one second. What the heck? Come on, there we go. Um, what's that? What's uh, what's Rabbit doing? Uh, he is uh, standing over a dead hag. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, playing for Rabbit since he's my superior, so he can. Okay. There you go. Uh, that's a bonus. Hopefully, action, take so some do something positive else action. As well. Yeah. Um, if you don't have anything up, uh, you could try doing vicious mockery, uh, which okay. is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's an option. Yeah, it's a cantrip option. It's probably one of the ones That's you'll awesome. most likely go okay. with. That is awesome. Yeah. So you unleash a <laughs> do we, do we know what all these do we know what all these these uh, creatures are now that yeah, that we are do. we do we do yeah. vampire uh, what else you got a vampire you can't see the sorceress uh, you have a little girl with a crab claw uh, and you have a hag. Um, so, okay. Uh, okay. Tell them what the vicious. I'm, I'm going to so, be. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going to be mocking that vampire. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take one d four psychic damage. It's not that much, but it has advantage on the ina- next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. It has disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. It fails badly. Oh. Yes. Okay. You so roll. <laughs> roll one d four. So it is very offended. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm rolling one d. I'm rolling one d four. Yes. Yep. Roll one d four. Yeah. You. Uh, you're like. Uh, and do I add anything to that? Uh, no, no, you just roll. Uh, just roll. Just, uh, roll one d four. So right. four points of damage. Uh, four points of damage to the vampire, and it's kind of like, how dare you even? All right. And its <laughs> next attack is going to be at a disadvantage. disadvantage. Did he say it like that? He did. He did. With a little bit of a <laughs> at the end, right? 
Um, all right, very good. Good job. Uh, uh, and uh, 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 Rabbit, you are going to have bonuses, which you do. Uh, let's move on to uh, next is Rabbit. Okay, well, I have no idea what this soul bag thing's about. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, you do. You actually do. Yeah. I do? <laughs> yes, it was in yeah. your briefing. Okay, so I can you tell me? Your briefing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I know whether I need to pick it up. You will destroy destroy the soul bag. Let okay, it, well, I will just, yeah, well, I'll run it through with my sword, you know. All right, which is all you had to do, really, because it's no longer under the protection of the hag. Uh, so yeah. you run the bag through, which is sitting there glowing, actually. Uh, you run it, you, you chop it with your sword, it opens up, uh, you see this uh, uh, this ichor starts uh, uh, flowing out of it, and steam comes out as well. Uh, the vampire screams and falls to the ground dead. Good times. Can I use my um, action surge to attack the hag? Because uh, it yes, gives me an additional can. action. And you should. Yeah. 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 That, well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And you should what get do the advantage do? You should get advantage because there are other people around the hag fighting it. So just get in flanking. Okay, but I don't know what all the what the bard's advantages are. Um. Yeah, Bardic Inspiration is a D6. It's a plus uh, if you, so, Yeah, but you don't... Plus D6, you can roll okay. first, and then if you don't and make then it, add you it can if roll I want. D6. Okay. So. okay. That's fine. I don't know what the flanking thing adds, but... Uh, it just gives you advantage. It gives you advantage, so okay. roll, roll it twice. Uh, no well, I guess what hit. I rolled, so... Okay. Well, damage. you can see if you get a crit, but yeah. Well, if I net 19 or higher, I crit, which is just well, the Well, yeah, but I'm saying... Roll again, then. Yeah. No, I, that's a 17. What? No, oh, no, but what? roll again to see if you crit. You could crit. You get to roll twice. So just roll yeah. again. And you... But what happens if my next roll misses? It doesn't matter. No, no, roll it's already. still matters. Oh, okay. It's the higher. So, uh, okay. You get so the just higher roll the d20. Roll. With, I'll add my yep. plus on anyway, but whatever. Just roll another uh, d20. 18. Okay. One point well, higher. Just one higher. Oh, well. One higher, but not it's enough. Too bad. Um, anyway, do <laughs> yeah. your damage, please. Uh, it's not loads. Um, I'm not adding any extra damage from any bonuses I'm on there. So. No, well, yeah, because you do have your plus three, but that's about that's it. Yeah. So. Yes, sir, yeah. So ten points. Ten. Ten points. This All right. Which probably won't do nothing. <laughs> uh, but no, it's nice because we're you're st we're we're putting damage on the hack. Uh, all right, uh, Puffin. I don't know where Bob mm -hmm. went. Where did Bob go? He disappeared. So who was super duper damaged, hating their life right now? I'm probably hurt the most, like usual. The sorceress hasn't been damaged yet. Yeah, uh, but no, from no, what no, we no, just saw, we need to kill about. the hags, right? That's right. Oh, yeah, you're not I'm, a I'm going to heal. heal someone. Oh, oh uh huh. So oh, fuck. Wait, is, <laughs> who's wait? Who's who needs healing? The um, probably Bill and Bob were the two worst. Well, who's is this stuck in the brambles? Me. That'd be Bill. Who's been I'm crushed at... by the little girl? Bob. Yeah, that was the one that took the damage. But Bob's okay, not Bob. here. Bob. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use healing word as my main Bob's action, as my here. bonus action. I'm going to use healing word because it only takes a bonus action to cast it. So double hit. Um, you get healed for 15. Nice. And that's my turn. Ooh. Good job. That helps. Me? Yeah. Yes, you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, so good. So that's pretty handy. Uh, let's now, go. can I use that for temp hit points? Is that thing still working? No, your temp uh, no. hit points are already gone, dude. They're burned away. They're that the, the first, first thing, thing to go. Left. Yeah. Well, I'm back to full. You're the man. You are the man. Uh, all righty. So, um... He's uh, a we're gonna go back to the top. I need Bob though. Where's Bob? What about Bob? I don't know. He he disappeared. He has he a got message, you as he no affected by magical sleep. And he had to go. Maybe no, he had I, to go. Yeah, I do have a message from Bob. Uh, I got to take off, Chester. Have a good night. All right, later, Bob. Uh, <coughs> that sucks. Well, his target was almost dead anyway, so that's fair. Uh, Wait, what do I do now? Goodbye, Bob. All right, that's, that sucks. Uh, all right, so yeah, we are running late though, but you guys are being super slow. Uh, all right, back to the people. top. Honey, it is a lot of people. 
Uh, honey, do something. Okay. Um, fire bolt on the hag. Uh, Darren, the hag. Exactly like what you should do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mom said I wasn't okay. slow. Special. Special. Okay. That's 1D20 plus, I think, six or seven? Seven. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you miss. Uh, okay. All right, uh, oh, lady. What? That's that inspiration dice. That plus six you had in your pocket. You could have, yeah, you could add the, well, if you like have five, an inspiration. Five, six, seven, yeah. eight as my highest. It's so I missed. Yeah, well, what? Lady, Sorry. you are what? not hitting anything today. I uh, don't know. Uh, do I have both. You can use it next turn. Okay. Could, next. I can't. Who's after Lady? Uh, me. Yeah, who is, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Um, vampire drops, so GOP is free. Uh, the brambles do their damage. Uh, so let me just add this uh, to uh, the to the bill. You take two more um, <clears throat> points of damage. Uh, that spell is just ongoing. Uh, she steps a little bit in toward the door to see the room uh, at greater. Uh, and she casts magic missile again. Why are you doing that? Stop doing that. Never. Your wife is flashing her boobs at you or something? No. Uh, you take nine points of damage, GOP, as these magic right. missiles slam into your body. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, alrighty. Uh, that's my sorceress. The little girl is, well, we'll just say she and Bob are involved. Um, uh, uh, the hag. What am I going to do with her? Hmm. She flees into the next room. Oh, cool. How many people did she have around her? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Including a bunch of soldiers. Does that give uh, us... I didn't a, say uh, how she's fleeing. Let me finish. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Fair I'm enough. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Yeah, no, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, all right. She casts a spell and uh, appears in the other room. Um... Go ahead. Who? Uh, Who? Yeah, go or, ahead. Well. Amy. <laughs> oh, uh, so she's teleported then? Yep. Well, blink, but yeah. Okay. All right, then. So how far away is the other room? Take your full full movement to get there. Okay. Um, Let's see. Unless you have a range um, weapon. But it'd be oh, hard to that's shoot right. All, yeah, but it'd be hard to shoot through all those men. You'd be at an extreme disadvantage. Extreme There's disadvantage. There's a full-on fight going in that room, a pretty harsh one. Okay, so what would it be? Uh, okay, um, the fellow who's stuck in the bramble. Wait, is he? Who's stuck in the brambles? Or Bill. is he free now? Or is he, Bill's stuck in the bramble. Is he still stuck? Yep, yes, he, he is, is still yeah. stuck in the brambles. Okay, can I get him out? Sure. Like, how would can I do that? Can I just like attack them, or you how does can. that? Uh, now, or you could set or... them on fire. That's what I would do. Set oh. them on fire. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Now, if so, it's a concentration um, spell, you could hit the sorceress and knock her concentration out. That's another option. Ah. Okay. Potentially, so, she would have she would have a saving she would have a save if it's a, if it's a concentration spell. Stop. Okay. It just uh, whack at him. So yeah, this, the sor so the sorceress has a. Do you think the what are brambles? Are those? Is that a magic spell? It is an entangle spell. It, it's an entangle spell. Okay. Uh, is it concentration? I do believe so. Yeah. Okay, so now do I have to use a magic attack on the sorceress to break nope. the concentration? What you want to do is nope. run over and hit her with your sword. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's definitely what you want to do. Now, if you have a smite you want to burn, if you have a spell slot, you can. It's up to you. No. Mm. Just hit him. Okay. Uh, I just hit him, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, well, that's in addition to the hit, I mean. Mm. <laughs> but it's still a spot to use on villain. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Uh, you do hit, though. Uh, and uh, go ahead and do your damage while I make my, uh, my, my okay. roll here. And uh, she does lose concentration. The brambles fall. Uh, so uh, do your damage, though. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, she didn't like that much. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of hit points. She's very upset with you. How dare you? We're sisters. <laughs> On what planet? <laughs> it's a female thing. Okay. Uh, all right, but you are able to free Bill. Bill, uh, the brambles fall. You're no longer being tortured and destroyed uh, as usual. What would you like to do, sir? Um, run to the other room and take a shot at the hag. So you, you take your movement and take a shot. Oh, very nice. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And she engaged with the speed sneak a lot attack. Of people. Yeah, so it's a okay. A whole yeah, room a, full of people. It's a did make a roll at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. So thirteen. Um, you miss her. The arrow bounces off the wall. Luckily, it doesn't hit anybody. Uh, yeah, so, uh, cool. go ahead, uh, Lady Ori went. GOP, what are you doing? Okay, um, let's see. Well, if it's disadvantaged to hit her just because there's so many people around her. Yeah. Uh, uh, how are... So, there's there's the, the sorceress, and then there was what? The little girl? Yeah, well, we'll just um, say that uh, she and Bob that's already uh, taken uh, care are of. unconscious on the ground. Chewing on e uh, uh, each other's uh, uh, ears uh, cautiously. Okay. okay, I guess. Uh, well, I guess I'll try and take out the sorceress so we can go in the room and deal with this. Yeah, that would issue. be actually useful. Do that. Okay. Ooh. Oh. No, that hits. That does hit. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, and of course, I move my hex over to her with uh, strength. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, 14 points. Okay. Uh, she explodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, therefore, um, uh, everybody in that area, which would be Amy, uh, Bill, and GOP. Uh, I ran me, away. Uh, How many oh, feet? You did. Uh, Amy mm -hmm. and uh, uh, GOP, give me a deck save, please. Okay. Oh, How many feet uh, is it? Because I did move away from them before. But okay. Yeah. And that's uh, plus five. Uh, if everybody wants to clear their, uh, their Amy dice misses, first. Oh, you go you. ahead. Uh, Amy, you take eight points of damage from the explosion. Oh, You're fine. Okay. You take four. All right. Uh, so uh, uh, the sorceress, uh, you see a glimmer of her, and she's going back to one of the bags. You don't know which one. Uh, now, in this room... Uh, you have uh, some guys that are uh, that weren't. Uh, there's a couple of dead guys on the ground, soldiers. Uh, the rest of them are charging into the other room after her. Uh, you have <clears throat> everything else is down in here. Uh, the only thing uh, uh, that is left is in the other room. Okay, so uh, let's see what's happening here. Uh, I will get to Rabbit. Uh, I do believe is next. No, Larry's. Next. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we'll it's just say Larry keeps doing the same thing Larry's been doing. Uh, let, I'm trying to expedite. I'm going to mock that vampire again. Uh, the vampire is dead. Um, so, Good job. Uh, what, wait, 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 wait. wait. He, one va there's only one vampire. What's the other one? She's a what? The only thing is... And two hags. The hag. There are two the, hags there's left. two hags in the other room, okay. which you can get to, I think. And uh, But they the teleported, thing, right? Yeah, they're, but they're just in the next room. Okay. Well, I'm so. going to rush into the next room with a blaze of glory. Okay. While uh, I'm strumming that loot. Vicious mockery again? L-U-T-E, by the way, everybody. I'm not taking <laughs> any gold yet. Yet. <laughs> Very oh, fun wow. joke. All righty, fine. Uh, all right, so uh, go ahead and target the, the hag that you can see uh, that's in front of you. And uh, just... Uh, I have to make a saving throw, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, let me make sure, just because I'm brain farting a little bit. Uh, uh, 
I think it's I think it's a saving throw. What did we do last uh, time? I made it, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Uh, all right. What? Uh, that's all right. Yeah. You can give your inspiration to someone. Who do you want to give it to? Uh, who's who's in that room with me at the moment? Well, I'd imagine mm. Rabbit's on his way. Uh, okay. I'm in there, so go ahead, give it to me. You can give it to Bill. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Who said I'm in there? Bill. Bill, Bill done deal. All right. I right, got cool. inspiration on you. Uh, that's a plus D6 as you like. Uh, all right. So, Rabbit. Now, Rabbit, uh, you, she's teleported out of your movement range. Uh, you can move into uh, the, the room, and if you have a ranged weapon, you can attack the other hag who is almost down. She's in bad shape. See, now, I do have a light crossbow, but it doesn't crossbow like a dex plus to your d20. That's right. That's right. That's right. You that could just move probably your wouldn't go so and, well. And go after yeah, it. I think I'll do that. That's better to me. Okay. It saves me shooting somebody in the face by mistake. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Puffin, what are you doing? Puffin. Puffin. You're muted, buddy. Puffin? It's not working. God damn. Anyways. I'm going to fucking run in and hit her twice. All right. Uh, you can't. Um, you could hit the one hag, uh, uh, which is, is the the one that you fought. Uh, you can okay. do a ranged attack at her. And oh, she's well. almost dead. You hit. First attack. Well, no. It, that's two different attacks. So the first attack is 16. Misses. No, wait. Plus the bardic. Forgot about the bardic. 17. Okay. And uh, and the other one is higher, so you hit. Okay. Twice, which is nice. Wow. No, the, the other one... No, the other one was seven, so I missed. But, um, that's oh, me. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, well, you do put damage on her. Uh, 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 what were you attacking her with? Okay. Uh, he no, he's okay. he's doing he's he's occupied with something else, obviously. Um, uh, all right, so yeah. back to the top, honey. Uh, this room is cleared. Uh, there's another hag fighting in the other room, and it's in bad shape. The other hag is barely in your vision. Uh, she's at the very back of that room, actually near the stairs going up. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. Um... I used up my. I, I can only use my can, my uh, Eldritch Cannon once per battle. Uh, Are you asking or telling? No, so it should last an hour. It's just oh, okay. if you if you uh, change it out for a different one. That's why it's like normally the way that it would work is uh, if you put the temporary hit points one, you would just have to roll for temporary hit points and it would just reset the temporary hit points to the new number. But. Um, oh. But if, if we're not, well, I, I don't think Chester's running it that way. Point to allow that. Okay. So. Um, Is that okay, Chester? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm fine either way. I just want you to do something. Okay. Okay, that's your, only your bonus action, so you still have your action. Okay, so you could uh, roll to give people some more temporary hit points, um, and then just like I don't go know if you can mm -hmm. keep doing that over and over. You that can. Make sense to me, dude. I'll read it. If you no, want I don't to. need to read it. All right, fine. Um, uh, it doesn't matter anyway. We're basically done. If someone would just hit yeah. the damn hag, it would be over. <laughs> yep. Firebolt. Well, I would, but she ran away. I'm not talking <laughs> about the next one. I'm talking about the other one. Can't do damage. Uh, yeah, the only just thing do I have firebolt. Left just firebolt her. You're good. If he's going to let you... Okay, you if you let me firebolt, I'll firebolt. You okay. have that cantrip. Have you can use them over and over and over and over. Paladins oh, don't okay. automatically have cantrips, but... I'm okay. talking about the artificer. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. She doesn't sure. have a cantrip. Okay. No, no, the artifi Ar artificer does. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So first I'll go ahead and recap. Uh, uh, my first, uh, first I'll start with... Um, a you can do your bonus action after your attack, right? Yeah. Or just roll the attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. That's... Um, 
1d20 20 plus my attack. That should be like 7? Yep, yeah, plus 7. Yeah, it rolls like a normal attack, right? Yeah, it's always mm -hmm. the same. d20 plus 7 okay. for you. Yeah. Well, until okay. we get more proficiency, but for right now, yeah. Right, right, for right now. Yeah. Oh. That's a miss. 11. Uh, all right, and you and give everyone like temporary hit, hit points. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Lady, uh, you're going to have to... 25. You're going to have to run into up. the other room. Your yeah. speed should be 40 if you're in your beast shape. Oh, that's right. Um, so you yeah. can get up to, up to the other hag and attack in melee combat, which is handy. Uh, and so you get advantage. Make, a, make an attack. Hit this time, lady. Come on. Yes, roll an advantage. It's the whole thing. I don't know how to roll like Bill. Just, All I can do is just roll, 120 roll at a time. Roll your attack, please. Okay, now roll again. Not that one. Now roll again. And yeah, yeah roll again. Clear the dice. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Goodness gracious, lady. Goodness gracious. Um, it's he my turn. Um, and I'm right there. Great. The do you uh, have the big the big baddie hag disappears up the stairwell. Uh, the other hag, uh, with my guys engaging with her, uh, uh, she actually drops. Um, so, uh, uh, they, they've taken, they've been tattered. There's a couple of them on the ground, but they were able, that army was able to take a hag out by themselves. Uh, so, uh, you guys are in a situation right now. Everything is down. Um, the, you only lost a, a total of four men, which is pretty good for the situation. Um, and you don't see the big bad hag, uh, Darid, you don't see her anywhere. Oh, okay. I thought that's the one I was chasing after. You are, you are, you are. Uh, so it's your. So you head up the stairs, but she didn't disappear up the stairs. She popped. She blinked out of the uh, upstairs. Yeah. Right. Um, but you're in full pursuit. You're in full movement. You get up in the hallway, uh, and you end up back in the top room. And uh, I, I don't know whoever's following him, but uh, uh, Rabbit is certainly pursuing. Uh, and I'm even, pursuing too, yeah. Uh, whoever's pursuing, you guys end up finding yourself outside where the ten guards are still waiting, looking at you, mm -hmm. like, uh, wondering what's going on. All right, so she's escaped. She didn't go with real though. Oh. I'm going to check no, my map. No, but she blinked, but, the, but she could be in anywhere <laughs> at this point. Well, there's she a range. She probably used the mention door. No, she can't. Oh. Uh, although she's out of the range of that thing now anyway, so she, she technically would be a thrill now. Um, yeah. That's what I figured. <laughs> but what you have done is you have cracked the coven, though. And that's a good thing. Uh, now, I'm going to deal with the... Because uh, we're way past time, so i got to let this roll. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and bring this all back up to, as to what it should be <clears throat> and just kind of uh, deal with the... Uh, <clears throat> Deal with the stream, and then I'll talk to you guys off, off, off offline. Uh, but uh, okay. thank you all for coming in today. Apologize for it going over like it did, but, but it is what it is. It's a big party, and uh, it, it those things just take time. Uh, nevertheless... Sorry uh, for the shaky start. No, that's okay. Um, now, keep in mind uh, that um, uh, we do have uh, a Drawing and Quarter Ultimate Edition this week, and we are doing another indie, so come back for that. Uh, otherwise, Thank we'll you. see you all, uh, you all next week. So... Uh, yeah. Later. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Outro time. Was fun. <laughs>